Hello, Teacher Bersil. Good afternoon. Good afternoon also to our uh, participants for this afternoon's webinar. Uh, this is the online uh, utilize, uh, the, uh, webinar on the utilization of our learning management uh, system. Uh, it's created by our DepEd Regional Office 11. Magandang hapon po sa lahat ng aming mga participants. As, uh, later, i-introduce po kung sino yung ating mga makakasama sa hapon ito. And Teacher Bersil, batiin po muna natin ang ating mga uh, pinakamamahal na DepEd official sa ating rehiyon. Simulan mo po sa ating uh, Regional Director. Okay, mag magandang hapon po, Ma'am Evelyn Petalvero. At saka yung sa, ati sa ating Assistant Regional Director, si Ma'am Ines Asuncion. Ayan, so sa ating CLMD naman, Sir June, uh, walang iba ang ating sexy at mabait na si Ma'am Janet Veloso. Ayan. So, Sir June, sino pa ba yung kasama Ooh, ng... Wala pa dito ang signal. <laughs> okay ka lang dyan, Sir June. Okay, so siguro wag na nating patagalin. Miss Lujin, sisimulan po natin sa pambansang awit and followed by a prayer. Alhamdulillah, wa nashaytan al-rajim, bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, faqala rabbukum uduni asagb lakum amin ya rabbal alameen. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, maliki yawm al-Din. Iyaka na'abudu, iyaka nasa'nuhdina sirat al-Mustaqim. Sirat al-Ladina na'amta alayhim ghayri al-Maghdubi alayhim wa al-Adhalin. Amin. Allahumma gwa shamal al-Muslimin wa Christian wa Lumad fi Madinah Dabaab. وسلم دائما مجتمعنا هذا بسلم والأمن والتقدم في بلدنا هذا آمين يا رب العالمين ربنا لا تجيغ قلوبنا بعد جهلتنا وهب لنا من لدن رحمة إنك أنت الوهاب ربنا إنك أنت الوهاب ربنا تنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار وصلى الله على خير خلقه سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم سبحان ربك رب العزة ما يسيبون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين آمين يا رب العالمين In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Amen Our most gracious heavenly Father We come to you today to praise and worship you and give you thanks for all the things you continue to provide for ourselves and our families. Father, we humbly ask for forgiveness for all the times we have offended you. When we forget to acknowledge your presence in the image of our brothers and sisters, and for moments we fail to be good stewards of the blessings you have given us. Continue to guide and protect each one of us, Lord, that we may always walk in the light of your everlasting love and mercy. Grant us, Father, with your comfort in times of distress and with your strength in times of weakness. 
Bestow upon us your unending grace and healing that may, may in turn become instruments of gentleness and compassion to others. We ask all this in the name of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, with the prayer and the intercession of our Blessed Mother. Amen. Ayun. So, magandang hapon ulit. Yes, yes Sir hapon. June. So, babati, babatiin muna natin yung mga participants natin from 11 Division. So, Sir June, sino-sino kaya ang mga ito, Sir June, sa tingin mo? Para mas formal na maipakilala sa atin ang ating mga participants sa hapong ito, meron tayong isang napakagandang education program supervisor na tatawagin natin on screen upang magpakilala po sa ating mga participants sa hapong ito. Ready, ready na siya? So let's all welcome Dr. Maria Liza Berandoy. Ma'am Liza! Thank you, John. Ma'am Liza, mayroon nga po. Thank you, John, for the nice... Introduction. I like the word beautiful there. Thank you so much. Uh, to our regional director, Evelyn Arpa Caldero, to our assistant regional director, Maria Ines Asuncion, to our chief of the curriculum learning management division, Chief Janet Jubiloso, to our Head of the DepEd ICTU, Mr. Rick Ginto, and to all of us, good afternoon. This virtual training has uh, today's virtual training is intended for the science group, and the participants in this training are the following. The 11 divisions, the 11, the 11 schools division, uh, the 11 division supervisors, namely from Davao Occidental, we have Mrs. Irene Mahinay, together with her two illustrators and two layout artists from Davao del Sur division. Mrs. Rosalia Bautista, together with her two layout artists and two illustrators. From Digo City Division, Mrs. Lusminda Hasmin, with her two illustrators and two layout artists. From Davao City Division, Miss Faye Pasamonte, with her two layout artists and two ICT illustrators. From Island Garden City of Samal, Mr. Alan Balisbis, together with his two illustrators and two layout artists. From Panabo City Division, we have Mrs. Ilya Pueblo, together with her two layout artists and two illustrators. From Tagum City Division, Mrs. Hanilin Boyles, together with her two layout artists and two illustrators. From Dabo del Norte Division, we have Mrs. Evelyn Labasan, together with her two illustrators and two layout artists. From Dabo de Oro Division, we have Mrs. Cecilia Morales, together with her two layout artists and two illustrators. From Dabao Oriental Division, 
We have Mrs. Merlin Lasaka together with her two illustrators and two layout artists. From Mati City Division, we have Mrs. Elfleda Junio together with her two layout artists and two illustrators. So all in all, 22 illustrators, 22 layout artists, 44 plus 11 division supervisors in science, in science 55, including me, the regional supervisor in science. We are all 56. Thank you and good afternoon once again. Thank you so much, Ma'am Lisa. Ayan, Teacher Bersil. Yeah, Teacher Bersil, uh, nakilala na natin ang ating mga participants sa hapong ito. Ano po, uh, yun po ay all in all, meron tayong uh, 55 from science group po, science teachers composed of layout artists, illustrators, and of course, the education program supervisors ng 11 divisions. Magandang hapon po sa lahat and welcome po sa ating webinar na ito. So, Teacher Bersil, uh, bago tayo magpatuloy, yes. Bago tayo magpatuloy, tsaka Ma'am Lisa, maraming maraming salamat po. Yan po ang... Maraming. Uh, yes, uh, Ma'am Lisa. Ma'am Lisa, yes. thank you po. Yes, thank you po for joining us. Maraming okay. salamat. Magandang hapon ulit po. Okay. Yes, sir. Sir. Okay. Ang susunod nating tawagin, uh, mag-introduction sa ako. Actually, first ko siyang na-met sa OER. Sobrang, hindi lang siya mabait, maganda. Inside out yan, ha? Hindi ko nga alam, siya pala ang ating chief ng C CLMD. Hindi ko alam yun, ha? Pero sobrang approachable niya. Isishare ko na lang, Sir Jun, kasi related ito sa science, yung ginawa namin activity ni Ma'am, eh. Ginawa niya bolang kristal yung, ano, yung cell, a part of a cell, mayroong parts doon, at saka yung globe. Hindi ko talaga ma, uh, makakalimutan yun. I-share ko lang dito kasi science yung mga participants natin eh. So, wag na nating patal patagalin. Yes, uh, help me welcome Ma'am Janet Veloso. Yan, ang pinakabagandang chief ng CLMD. Hello yeah, po, Ma'am Janet. Yes, good afternoon. Yes, good afternoon. Yes, yes June and Bersel, thank you. Nice. Good afternoon, everyone. Yes. And so, um, let me take this providential moment to recognize, of course, our head of Dep and Rectorate 11, headed by Madam R.D. Evelyn R. Vettelbero, and our Assistant Regional Director, Madam Maria Ines Asuncion. We also recognize the team of the regional ICTU headed by Mr. Ricardo Ginto and the rest of his team. And to the CLMD, we have our Capamilia, Dr. Vedelina Oevos, and of course, the sexiest focal, Dr. Maria Lisa Iberandoy. And also, she is brilliant. And most of all, we appreciate so much the presence of our ICT experts, illustrators, layout artists, and education program supervisors from the 11 schools division offices. I am delighted to welcome all of you in this uh, regional training on the utilization of the learning management system. Today, it is an activity that is perhaps most significant to all of us and it is timely uh, together with our uh, uh, expert in the ICTU that they conceptualize the learning management system. This is very relative to our support for the overall framework of DepEd for Sulung Edukalidad and to our learning continuity plan. This is also our way of addressing the challenges of the curriculum delivery in the new normal. Well, in this session today, this will provide us in a platform to prepare the ground or our schools for a more reinvigorated engagement 
with the new ways of teaching and learning. As this is our priority today, this is also an opportune time for all of us teachers to be able to use wide array of materials because you will be encountering how the ebook be uploaded, the interactive lessons, and radio scripts or TV broadcasting scripts. Yes, we have already set our structure or pool of development teams or our writers, but all their inputs, who will enliven all this in our learning management system are the very people that are with us now. And they are you, our participants today. So that will serve as our learning resource for the different modalities, be it modular, online, offline, or blended, or shall we say school on air via radio transmission, or our learning through the TV educational series. This is how DepEd and somehow our region also will structure our initiative and education support. Now, the implication of all this preparation of our region is that we want not only to provide a lot of choices to our learners, but also make all our uh, preparations responsive to the kind of individuals we have. Now, as you all know that we have, uh, shall we say, uh, a specialized school, particularly offering science. And also, we have also uh, uh, schools in the senior high school that are offering the STEM. And so with this, we would want that our schools with you in, the, in this forum will be able to grasp and get uh, how, or not only the feature of the learning management system, but on how to do it so that all the developed materials are converted successfully or will be converted successfully into ebook, uh, interactive materials, and also radio scripts or uh, TV scripts. Now, uh, with you in the field, we are banking on your caliber. Kanga sabi nila that uh, if you are going to give a task to a scientist, all uh, your, uh, shall we say, suggestions might be carried out or might be modified as all our uh, scientists have that innate tendency to really innovate as they are creative and flexible. And so with that, we would want you to champion on that note, being our partner in this endeavor. So on behalf of the regional office, and together with my family in the Curriculum and Learning Management Division, Dr. Berendoy and Dr. Uh, Huevos, all the division program supervisors handling the science program, we would want each one of these participants able to grasp and recreate and improve and make our learning management system that dynamic and phenomenal. God bless everyone. Thank you, June. And Thank you so much. Marcel. Yes. Yes. Mama, uh, Thank you, Ma'am Janet. Grabe, no? Talagang uh, sa maalala. Yes. Nakaraang Kami tayo dito, sir. Sa nakaraang apat na araw, Teacher Bersil, napakarami pong inspirational message na binigay si Ma'am. Yes. At saka, 
lahat ng inspirational message na yun ay talagang tumpak sa bawat grupo ng participants na nakasama po natin sa mga nakarang araw at hanggang ngayon nakasama natin ang ating mga science group uh, science team na mga nagsisilwing mga illustrators and layout artists at kasama po ang kanilang mga education program supervisors all over Region 11. Thank you so much, Ma'am Janet. Ika nga, kahit na sa pandemyang ito, although we are physically uh, isolated, but yet we are uh, virtually connected. Ayun. Thank you so much, Ma'am Janet. So, Ma'am Janet, yes. since uh, ikaw po ang Thank Anjan, you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ma'am Janet, for joining us. Yes. Pero Hi, teacher Sir Jun, by the way. Mm -hmm. Sige po. Mm -hmm. I think, uh, I think si Ma'am Janet na lang. Yes, lang of course. Ma Janet. Tingnan po. Kaya Ma'am Janet, okay. kasi... Yes. <laughs> Ito na rin po namin ipagkakatiwala kung sino po yung mga tagapagsanay natin sa hapong ito. Please, Ma'am wow. Janet, the honor. Okay, so to everyone, we are happy to introduce to you our panel of trainers. Actually, uh, they are form part of our uh, colleague in the region and they are our experts that have conceptualized this learning management system. So if there are um, uh, the right people, they are the right people who can share to you all the features and also all the things that you need to know about the learning management system. So starting with today, our uh, main creator, we have the former teacher of Sigaboy Agricultural Vocational Senior High School or, or high school. We have Sir Joselito Idom. Sir, makita na picture ni Sir. Ayan, yan siya po ang maker natin. So thank you, Sir Edong. And together with Sir Edong, we have also our uh, ICTU uh, staff. We have a, a programmer himself. We have Mr. Cholo Hernandez. Oh, Cholo. Ayan. Yes, ayan. Gwapong-gwapo ni Cholo. Ayan. Kasi gwapo din ni Sir Edong. Okay, with them, we have also our uh, another staff who is also a promising one who can uh, be the right person if there is of if there is something that you want to troubleshoot. We have Mr. Joshua Wong. Ayan, Josh. Ayan, Ayan, na ba, si Josh. Ayan. And also the team would not be complete, of course, with someone who will uh, make the office livelier and merrier. Someone who is so cool and dashing. We have another programmer, Miss Lojin Masangid. Miss Lojin. And of course, the team is headed by our ICTU head, Mr. Ricardo Ginto. Ayan, nasa kabilang linya siya, nagbibiting. <laughs> okay, so to all the participants, these are our uh, RI or regional ICTU team who will be with you all the way for the training on the utilization of our learning management system. Hey, June, I'm done with the introduction. Thank you so much, Madam Janet. Thank you, yes. okay. thank you so much, Madam Janet. Thank you so much, Madam Janet. Okay. So, Madam Janet, so hindi na muna natin nakadaling yung ano, yes. kita na tayo sa ating training proper. Yes? Yes po. Okay. Uh, bye -bye so, po let's tayo give the on floor sa ating... Oh, so meron tayong pambansang webinar na si Sir Marksy, meron din sa region, hindi magpapabitin yan, walang iba kundi si Sir Edong, Pusilito Edong. Ayan. Sir Edong, welcome Hello, po. Hello, Sir members, sir. good afternoon once again. Sir Edong, yan, sir Edong. yan ang Marksy uh, ng Davao City, po. I mean, po ay regional event. And good luck, sir. Thank you. 
Okay. Yan po, uh, magandang hapon na uh, ulit sa ating mga participants. So ngayong hapon po, uh, actually malayo po yun yung sinasabi nila ma'am kanina, uh, Mark C. ng uh, region. Malayo po yun. Pwede lang po tayo pang ano lang tayo, pang barangay. Okay. So ngayong hapon, ay eh, papakilala din natin sa inyo itong tinatawag nating uh, learning management system ng region 11. Okay. Ang uh, learning management system na ito ay open source. Ito po ay tinatawag nating model or the modular object oriented dynamic learning environment. Okay? Ito po ay uh, open source, ibig sabihin libre, wala ho tayong babayaran mga license. Tapos in terms naman sa ating ano, so ngayong hapon kasi papakita namin sa inyo uh, just a presentation of the features of our LMS and then after that magkakaroon kayo ng walkthrough on how to create a course dito sa ating uh, LMS. But then after that, may pa uh, may link na ibibigay kayo mamaya. 'Yun ang link kung saan ninyo pwedeng i-download yung ating uh, gagamitin LMS para makapag-practice kayo offline. Although meron tayong inihandang online na uh, website kung saan doon kayo mag uh, sanay para sa ating sa paggamit ng LMS, pero at this time ay hindi muna namin ibibigay ang link uh, sapagkat uh, we still have, I think, uh, two days more to go para matapos ang uh, webinar na ito. So baka kasi bumagsak yung site na yun katulad nung nangyari last Monday. So mamaya, again, ipapakita yung link uh, kung saan pwede ma-download yung uh, LMS na yun, platform na yun. At the same time, yung mga video kung saan uh, yung video na yun, it will guide you sa process ng paggamit ng ating uh, LMS. So yan, yung LMS na ina na mention ko. So ngayon ipapakita ko na sa sa inyo yung screen. Okay, unahin ko lang muna itong screen ng uh, students access. Kasi ito yung learning management system. So ito yung screen ng ating learning management system. Pero students access ito. So ibig sabihin ito yung access ni estudyante. Assuming ako ay nakapag-enroll na ngayon sa Mathematics 6. So, don't you worry about the subject kung bakit Mathematics 6. So, anyway, itong learning management system natin, eh, hindi naman siya naka-design for a specific subject. So, ito ay open sa lahat po ng mga subject area. So, wala akong problema. Kasi the same lang naman yung mga, yung process natin sa paggamit, sa paglagay ng mga resources. Yung kaibahan lang is ano yung laman or the content ng ating learning materials na nilagay natin sa ating learning management system. Okay po? So, ngayon, Miss Jante ay si Bob. So, ito yung interface niya. So, yung unang topic na nakikita niya dito ay rounding numbers. So, common, si teacher ang naglagay nito. Kapag naglagay tayo dito ng topic, so, expected na may kasunod dyan ng mga learning activities. So, ito yung mga halimbawa na ating mga learning activities to support this uh, topic. Okay? Now, we're considering this is an online platform. So, ibig sabihin, wala kayong face-to-face -face na... Uh, kumbaga interaction with your students tama so itong ginawa natin itong nakapost ngayon dito na lesson is ang format dito ay PDF ayan PDF yung kagandahan dito sa LMS habang uh, while we are posting this uh, material eh pwede mo din itong siyang i-download para doon sa mga estudyante walang access sa internet walang mga devices sila yung mga nag uh, libawan nag modular so pwede so double purpose yung uh, trabaho ni teacher so, isang preparation lang pero na, nagagamit sa iba't ibang modalities. ba? So, bakit PDF? Hindi ba pwede si Microsoft Word na lang? Kasi originally, ito ginawa gamit ang Microsoft Word application. So, yung tanong, bakit hindi siya direct na lang Microsoft Word? Bakit kailangan pa nating PDF? Hindi ba pwede si Microsoft Word? Actually, pwede po. Kaya lang, uh, intentional po yung pag-convert natin dito ng PDF kasi we're considering the students na most of them are using smartphone. So, yung smartphone nila, hindi capable po mag-open ng mga Microsoft Word file kasi not available yung application sa kailang device. Whereas, yung, yung uh, PDF ay kayang buksan ng kahit anong mga Android phones. ba? So, another thing is kung naka-PDF kasi siya, intact yung kanyang layout, hindi nagbabago. Kung yung original layout, yun pa din makikita ni Sudyante. So, ito yun. So, binabasa ngayon ni Sudyante yung lesson mo about Rounding numbers, halimbawa. Okay? So, matapos basahin ni Sudyante, of course, naintindihan niya yung mga lesson na yun. May kasunod na quiz. Depende na yan kung uh, uh, ano yung ginawa ni teacher after the presentation of lesson. So, pwedeng 
quiz ay ilagay natin to check or to evaluate kung may naintindihan ba siya dito sa lesson na na-present natin. And then, after that, pwede ka rin maglagay ng assignment dito. Okay? So, yung mga activity na ito, ito yung mga example lamang, mga uh, sample data lang po yung nilagay natin. So, uh, itong quiz or itong assignment, yung kagandahan dito, eh, pwede natin siyang lagyan ng restriction. So, ano-anong restriction na pwede natin ilagay dito? For example, yung quiz ay eh, pwede siya maging available lang ngayong June 26 at 2 to 3 p.m. So, after uh, 3 p.m., dapat si system na yung magre-restrict kay sudyante na hindi na siya pwede makapag-take ng quiz kasi wala ng oras. So, pwede mong gawin yun dito sa system. Ganon din sa assignment. So, pwede mong i-post na lahat. Halimbawa, handa mo na yung, uh, yung lesson mo for the entire school, uh, school year, pwede mo nang ilagay na dito. Pero yung mga lesson na yun, eh, hindi pa yun mabubuksan ni sudyante kung hindi pa schedule. O kaya, pwede kang maglagay ng mga prerequisite. Kung baga, si assignment, mabubuksan lang si assignment kung natapos na ni sudyante ang mag-take ng quiz. Or mabubuksan lang itong quiz kung natapos na ni sudyante basahin itong lesson na nilagay natin dito. So, pwedeng ganon. So, dito ngayon sa atin, walang, wala pong nilagay na restriction kasi nga for the purpose ng ating presentation. So, again, yung part to po is to present to you ano yung mga features o kakayanan ng ating learning management system. And then, mamaya, magkakaroon din kayo ng walkthrough kung paano ito nilagay dito. Okay. So, proceed tayo. Halimbawa, ito yung panibagong topic. Pero nilagyan ko lang dito ng sample interactive activities. Pero in actual uh, situation, actual setup, dito talaga nilalagay yung topic natin. And then kasunod ng mga topics na yan ay mga activity or learning activities para may matutunan naman si estudyante. So ipapakita ko sa inyo itong tinatawag nating mga interactive activities na pwede nating ilagay dito sa ating LMS. Ang unang interactive activities na pwede nating gawin ay itong tinatawag nating course presentation. So course presentation, so para ka lang nagpa-PowerPoint. So ito yung halimbawa. So ngayon, binabasa na ito ni sudyante. Ito yung lesson mo, di ba? So it's just a plain, parang it's just a plain presentation. Pero try to check this one. So on the next slide, hindi, hindi alam ni sudyante na may kasunod pa lang activity. May kasunod pa lang assessment. So yung mga questions dito ay base doon sa binasa niya kanina. O, halimbawa, ito yung question. Halimbawa, sasagutin natin, ito yung sagot. So, automatic alam ni Sudyante if correct or incorrect ba yung kanyang mga answers. Halimbawa dito. Ayan, correct. So, halimbawa dito. Grass family. Ayan. Automatic alam ni Sudyante na incorrect pala siya. So, you get two of three correct. So, alam ko na ngayon na ito lang yung nakuha ko sa set, sa first set ng activity. Inside the presentation. So, next. I will proceed. Kung kanina multiple choice, ngayon naman fill in the blanks na. So halimbawa, ang sagot natin dito ay And then, sa pangalawang question, ay wala akong may sagot dyan. Halimbawa, ito lang, itatype ko lang ito. Check. So I got one of two. Correct answer. O diba? So yung traditional kasi ginagawa natin, basahin mo muna yung PowerPoint presentation. Halimbawa, o basahin mo muna bago yung quiz. Pero dito, Uh, every you know, activity, law course presentation, ay may kasunod na mga uh, activity. May kasunod na, kumbaga, assessment. So, immediate siya. So, dito tayo ngayon, sis, kumbaga, slide number four. Ito na yung discussion. Ito yung mga information about sa uh, lesson. So, aside from this, text-based kasi na presentation. No? Aside from that, eh, may kasunod din na video. About any type of soil conditions. Currents prefer moist but not soggy soil and they tolerate safe. Okay, so sa video, pwedeng ikaw mismo yung maglagay ng sarili mong video. So habang uh, parang ikaw lang mismo yung nagdi-discuss ng particular topic, tapos ito makikita na na estudyante, na ito pala yung uh, discussion mo. So parang may interaction, parang nakiki parang ano lang, face-to-face uh, -face lang yung uh, nangyayari kasi nakikita kanila sa video. So after watching the video, I'll click next. Ayan, may kasunod na naman na activity. Okay? Ito yon. Halimbawa lang. So, I got 3 out of 4. So, next. So, another lesson presentation na naman. Next. Ayan. So, pwede tayong maglagay dito ng 
ganito. Para siyang filling the blank, saya lang, instead of typing the answer is, idadrag mo lang yung sagot. Tulad nito, idadrag lang natin dun sa box. So, drag and drop. Check. Ayan, I got 3 out of 3. So, next. Ayan, balik tayo para sa multiple choice. Check. Next. So, eto na yung result. Last page ng ating presentation. Alam na ni sudyante na ito pala yung score ko. 9 over 13 for this activity. And then, automatic din ito pumapasok sa record na database or class record ng ating system. So, yung maganda dito, si teacher hindi na kailangan pa magdala ng class record. Every time na may natapos dyante, ay magre-record sa kanyang e-class record. So, paperless na. Wala ka nang gagawin. Pero at the end of the quarter, i-download mo na lang yung summary. Yun ay transfer natin sa traditional na ginagamit natin na e-class record. So, malinis yung e-class record mo. So, hindi na masyadong time-consuming kasi uh, isang beses ka na lang maglalagay doon ng record. I-download mo na lang dito sa ating LMS. Tapos yun na yun. Tapos yung maganda pa dito, hindi na kailangan ni Sujanti pumunta pa kay teacher para magtanong in terms naman sa kanyang progress. Kasi si Sujanti mismo ay pwede niyang i-check dito mismo sa system yung result or uh, yung kanya, lahat ng kanyang mga scores sa mga activity na binigay ni teacher. So yun ang maganda dito. Another is pwede tayong maglagay ng interactive video. Sa interactive video, parang video, it's just a simple uh, video presentation. Kaya, kaya lang ayaw mag-play. Okay, yan. Ayaw nung gumana ng ating video presentation. Siguro napagod na siya. <laughs> yan. Okay. Sa so, intera, yung ginagawa ni teacher, nagda-download tayo ng mga video, then pinaplay natin gamit ang TV, tsaka sometimes gumagamit tayo ng projector. And then after the video presentation, ano ginagawa ni teacher? Magbibigay tayo ng quiz. Okay, so tingnan natin dito kung the same pa rin ba yung format or mga paraan ng presentation gamit ang video. Within the video, may mga kasunod, may mga nakapaloob na mga activity, katulad nito. So while playing the video, pwede mong tingnan ano yung mga ingredients list dito sa, kung baga ito yung mga notes mo. Para sa video. Na para matingnan ito ni Sujante. So, close natin. Okay. So, habang pinapanood ni Sujante ang video, ayan, my next activity. What kind of berry is this? Based on the video. So, ito ay strawberry. So, check natin. Ayan, correct. So, I'll click continue. Yan. Automatic si video nag-stop kasi may question. Ito yun, no? So, i-click natin ito. Halimbawa, ito, strawberries. Highlight the ingredients that have been added so far. So, based on the video. So, halimbawa, hindi ako nanood ng ma maayo. So, ito lang yung sagot ko. Strawberries. Check natin. Ayan, I got one of two. Kasi dapat dalawa. Okay? So, pwede mong panuorin ulit. Or pwede mong i-forward. Okay? Yan. Play natin. Meron din siyang filling the blanks. O, fill in the correct ingredients. So, strawberry. So, dito ka maglalagay ngayon. Si Sujante dito maglalagay ng kanyang sagot. Ayan. Incorrect. So, habang ginagawa ito ni Sujante, hindi niya alam, automatic recorded na pala. Okay. Inside the video, pwede tayong maglagay ng drag, drag and drop activity. The instruction is drag and drop the berries used in this recipe on the picture. So, limbawa, idadrag ko ito lahat para makasigurong tama. Pero the instruction is drag and drop the berries used in this recipe on the picture. So, show score. Ayan, I got zero out of one kasi dapat dalawa lang. Okay. So next.
Yes, yeah, summary. So another set, ito yun, gagawin ni estudyante. Choose the correct statement. So, pipili na nyo yung correct statement. Okay. Yeah. Continue. So, one of three. So, at the end of the video, ayan, may summary din ng score. So, alam ko, as a student, alam ko ito yung score ko. So, wala na akong magagawa dyan. So, kailangan ko na lang i-click itong submit answers. Ayan, automatic recorded na yan. So, the next is sample memory game. So, pwede tayo magbigay ng memory game sa ating mga estudyante. So, sa memory game, ito yung mga images. Parang ganito lang paglaralo na yan. Okay. Ayan. So, parang ganito lang. So, syempre si Jante habang ginagawa ito, parang naglalaro lang siya, pero hindi niya alam na may equivalent points pala yung ginagawa niya. So, good work. So, find the words naman. Halimbawa, so find the words. Dito may lalagay kung ano mga words yung ipapahanap mo kay estudyante. Halimbawa, one. Meron tayong three. Saan ba si... Si two. Ayan o. So correct. So I got three out of three. Meron din tayong speak the words. So speak the words, para ka lang nagbigay ng quiz... Pero mas authentic ito kasi boses mismo ni sudyante. Wala siyang way para magkudigo, di ba? Kasi boses niya mismo, siya yung sasagot. Halimbawa, what is the capital city of the Philippines? I'm sure na yung sagot dito ay Davao City. So, we'll try Davao City. Davao City. Ayan, incorrect. Kasi the correct answer is Manila, di ba? So, I'll try. Okay. Manila. So, ayan, correct answer na, di ba? Next is, what is the capital city of China? Beijing. Incorrect. Hindi niya naintindihan. Let us try. Beijing. Ayan, correct answer na. So, meron din tayong audio recorder. Sa audio recorder, di mo na kailangan ng mga third-party applications pa para magawa itong recording ng boses mo. Kasi dito mismo sa ating uh, LMS, eh, meron na tayong built-in na audio recorder. So, kaya lang, Dito sa ano, sa activity na ito ay nagbigay ako dito ng question in which ire-record ni sudyante yung kanyang sagot. So pwede ka rin maglagay dito ng any mga reading materials tapos gusto mong basahin niya ni sudyante tapos ire-record niya yung kanyang sagot and then pwede niyang i-submit as part of the assignment. Okay? So dito ngayon, so who is the city mayor of Davao City? Mayor Sara Duterte. So done. Automatic na re-record yung boses ko. Mayor Sara Duterte. Yeah. Okay, kung okay naman, so i-click ko na lang itong download para maging attachment ko sa submission ng aking assignment. Talking about assignment, mamaya makikita niyo sa walkthrough ninyo sa pag-create ng course. So, meron din tayong uh, hotspot. Itong hotspot, hindi lang yan sa Wi-Fi, no? Pati dito sa LMS, meron din tayong hotspot kung saan, uh, syempre sa ngayon, wala tayong face-to-face -face na klase. So, paano mo i-explain sa estudyante ngayon? Halimbawa, you're discussing about the parts of the body. Parts of the plants. So, dito naman sa akin, parts of the motherboard. So, paano ko ito i-discuss sa so, estudyante na maintindihan nila? So, ang gagawin natin, gagamit tayo na tinatawag nating hotspot. Now, once you, play, you point your mouse here, your pointer, ayan o, lalabas itong CMOS battery. So, ibig sabihin, ang part na ito ay tinatawag nating CMOS battery. E, pero yung question ngayon, estudyante, what is CMOS battery? What's the use of the CMOS battery? So, i-click na lang ito ni estudyante. Once the student click on this, ayan, may lalabas na video. Na kung saan, try to imagine na eh, ang video na ito ay ikaw mismo discussing about the CMOS battery. Uh, di ba, mas mag enjoy si estudyante, mas maintindihan niya, parang nag-face-to-face -face lang kayo. So kung ayaw mo naman ng video, pwede mo namang ilagay text explanation. Ito yung halimbawa. So ito yung part na nag-explain kung anong part ito ng motherboard. Yan ay mga halimbawa lamang. So sa inyo, depende kung ano yung applicable dyan sa inyo, sa inyong mga, sa inyong mga subjects, Ito din yung gagawin ninyo. Maglalagay lang kayo ng uh, image dito and then lalagyan natin ng hotspot. Okay? So meron din tayong multiple hotspots. So multiple hotspot has uh, multiple hotspots. Ito yung instruction, find all the uh, find all the visibles in this picture. So alibawa, ito yon. So automatic great job. You have found two of two visibles. So two out of two. And then Mark the words. Another activity, 
Ito yung tinatawag nating mark the words. The instruction is, click the various types of berries mentioned in the text below. So, various types of berries daw. So, ngayon, halimbawa, ito yung sagot ni Sudyante. Okay? Halimbawa, yun lang. Check natin. So, ano nangyari? So, ang nangyari ay, ito yung score niya, 3 out of 6. Okay, so, click natin itong image slider. This is another activity. Image slider. So, sa image slider, ito yung, uh, para ka lang nagpipresent ang PowerPoint. Parang PowerPoint presentation lang. It's an image. So, maglalagay ka dito ngayon ng caption. Explaining about this image. So, ang gagawin ni Sudyante, ganito lang. Next. Next. Gusto kong balikan? I-click ko lang itong uh, button nito. So, instead na magbabasa sila ng mga uh, libro, so ito na yung gagawin. May, medyo mag enjoy sila kasi may mga images na nakikita tapos mas depende na yan sa presentation din ng image. So, pwede ka rin magbigay sa kanila ng activity gamit itong flashcards. Sa flashcards, depende na yan sa inyo kung anong images ang gagamitin ninyo. So, dito naman sa akin, yung activity na ginawa ko, halimbawa, name the following company. So, based on the logo. So, halimbawa, ang sagot ko dito ngayon ay KFC. Check. Ayan. So, ito pala, yung pangalan pala ng, ano, yung pangalan pala ng uh, logo na ito, ng company na ito ay Macdo. Ayan. Si Macdo ay eh, love ko to. Ito yung mga nakasave sa mga cellphone ng mga nakatulad ko. Yung pangalan ng asawa ko sa cellphone, yung pangalan niya ay Macdo kasi love ko to. So, mahirap na kung may video. Yan ang mga kabit, mga we find ways. So, dito naman, halimbawa, ito yung sagot ko dito ay Coke. Ayan. Incorrect kasi incorrect answer is Pepsi. ba So, another is Image Blender. Sa Image Blender, kung titignan mo yung image, it's, it's just a plain image. ba And then sa baba, meron siyang caption. O, ito pala yung mga... A kinds of a flower, okay? Pero, kung gagawin ni Sudyante, kung slide niya yung slider, ganito, ayan, nagbabago yung image, nagbabago din yung kanyang caption dito sa baba. And then next, ayan, automatic. Three images yung nilagay natin dito, parang ganito lang, oh. So, ito yung way ng ating presentation ng lesson. Pwede ganito. So, syempre, mag-enjoy yung si Sudyante compared to the traditional way na ginagawa ni teacher sa klase. Image jukta position. Sa image jukta position, kung gusto niya naman ng, uh, if you want your students to compare two different objects, for example, alimbawa, pwede din itong mukha mo. Ito yung mukha mo before, and then ito yung after. So, ito yung ex mo, ito yung present mo. So, pwede nilang i-compare yung dalawa. So, depende anong activity yung bibigay ninyo na mayroong ganitong uh, strategy sa pagbigay ng, uh, pag-present natin ng lesson. So, pwedeng, ang tawag dito ay image juxtaposition. So, comparison. So, pwede din chart. Ito yung alibawa ng ating chart. Pwede ka rin magbigay dito ng pie chart. Maglagay dito ng pie chart. So, presentation ng lesson mo, alimbawa, kailangan mo mag-present ng ganito. So, yung ginamit ko lang dito ay data ng uh, enrollees ng grade 7, grade 8, grade 9, saka grade 10. Yung maganda dito, hindi mo na kailangan siyang i-draw itong uh, chart na ito. Uh, maglalagay ka lang dito sa, sa system mismo. May mga porsyon na doon. Doon may lalagay yung mga data. Halimbawa, itong sa grade 7 is 138. And then automatic na mga nagagawa itong chart na ito. And then in terms of the color, si system na mismo. Yung magbibigay sa iyo ng mga options doon kung anong kulay ang gusto mo. So yan o. Meron tayong chart. And then pwede ka din gumawa ng collage. Collage. Saan ka ba mag-aaral sa ano mo? Sa collage. Okay, so, eto, I have here uh, three pictures. So, ito yung position ko ng three pictures. So, in your class, for example, you have ten images. So, depende na yan sa'yo kasi, kasi it's unlimited. Marami namang template na pagpipilian. <clears throat> Maraming template pagpipilian. Kung halimbawa, you have ten images, then pwede ka din pumili doon. Ano yung fit para sa ten images? Yan ang ating collage. Meron din tayong virtual tour na pwede natin gawin dito sa system. Kasi wala namang, ano, walang allowed ngayon na uh, field trip, for example. So, ito yung mangyayari. Halimbawa, puntahan natin ang lugar na ito. So, kung, pa, kaya nga virtual siya eh. So, ikiklik lang natin itong link na ito. And then, may kasunod na another link. So, dito, try natin click. So, ito pala yung history. 
ng lugar na ito. Di ba? So at least si Jante, parang pumunta din siya sa lugar na yan, nababasa niya yung history about this place. Another is, dito, try natin i-click ito. Ayan, may video. So yung gagawin ni si Jante ngayon, panunuorin na lang yung video. So again, a video pwedeng naka-attach dito sa ating virtual tour. So dito masyadong maliit itong butas na nakikita natin dito sa baba. So i-click natin ito para mas ma-enlarge. Ayun oh. Yan ang mas detailed, detailed na picture, no? So kaya nga tinawag nating virtual tour. So proceed tayo dito sa timeline. Sa timeline naman, if we're discussing, parang um, mas applicable ito sa mga history class. Kasi parang ganito din yung presentation. Okay. So, history of strawberry. So, depende na yan. Hindi, na, uh, hindi man lang siguro sa history class ito nagagamit. Katulad din sa computer, di ba? May mga history din ng computer. And then, sa kanya-kanyang mga subject area siguro, meron din tayo siguro mga history, mga topic about uh, history of uh, something. So, ito yung magiging presentation natin. Next. <clears throat> Next. So, parang ganito lang yung presentation natin. Yan. Parang PowerPoint presentation, ginawa ng mga, ginawa ng slider. So, book example. Sa book example, lahat ng pinakita ko kanina sa inyo ay pwedeng uh, idagdag natin sa ating e-book. So imagine kung isang aklat, ito isang aklat. Hindi lang siya babasahin ni estudyante, no? Kasunod ng mag, uh, inside this uh, e-book ay eh, meron din siyang mga interactive activities na nakapaloob. So isang file na lang. So again, kanina lahat ng mga pinakita ko sa inyo, lahat 'yun ay pwede nating idagdag dito sa ating e-book. So parang isang file na lang, isang e-book na lang ang mga activity ni estudyante. But then recorded pa rin lahat ng mga activity na 'yon, yung magiging progress nila recorded pa rin. So sa e-book na ito, meron siyang mga table of contents dito. And then, example ko dito, naglagay din ako ng video. Inside the e-book, eh, merong video. So traditional natin, hindi naman yung mangyari. Lahat ng mga books, wala namang nakatat sa video. That's impossible. Pero sa e-learning, eh, pwedeng mangyari yon. So, pwede din tayo mag sa mga mp3 files or video files na ikaw mismo yung nag discuss and then after that, magbibigay ka ng activity. So dito ngayon, yung nilagay natin is a sample radio program. A sample radio program, mangyayari dito parang nakikinig lang ng radio drama ang estudyante. Pakinggan natin. Ang Bureau of Alternative Learning System ng Department of Education ay naghahandog ng isang palatuntunang panradyo na pinamagatang Pantay-pantay nga ba? Ang mga layunin ng episode na ito ay ang mga sumusunod. Matukoy ang mga karapatan ng mga... Yan ang pinaghingit-ngit ng loob ko! Gaya ng itay mo! Kampi-kampi lang silang mga... So, yun ang ng ating radio program na pwede natin i-attach dito sa, sa ating learning management system. So, double purpose, halimbawa, ay kayo naghahanda ngayon para sa radio-based program uh, lesson for the radio, ano, radio class. So, double purpose yun. Pwede mong i-play doon sa radio station mismo and pwede mo ding ilagay dito sa ating learning management system. Nasa kayo ay mapakinggan naman ng other students. ba diba? So, ngayon, yun ang mga basic na mga features na pwedeng gamitin ni teacher dito sa LMS. So ako ngayon si estudyante, gusto kong ma-check ang aking status, so i-click ko itong course dashboard. So dito ko makikita kung sino yung aking teacher. Siya pala yung aking teacher. Tapos, meron ding mga badges dito. And then, dito sa baba, makikita ko yung progress ko so far. So 4% pala yung natapos ko. And then, kung gusto kong i-check yung aking grades, ang aking mga performance sa uh, lahat ng mga activities, ayan, dito ko siya titingnan. So, yan ang mga activity kanina na ibigay sa estudyante. Pero itong mga bakante pa, meaning hindi pa yan counted. Wala pang record yan. 
Yan ang class record. Kung baga, ito na yung class record ngayon ni Sudyante na si Bob Uy. Ayan. Ito din yun, isa din ito sa mga pangalan na binubuli sa school. Kasi masyado siyang sikat kapag may mga birthday, kasal, o binyag, o lagi siyang sikat. Sabi na yung katong mga mahilig dito sa Litson. Okay. So, that's the end for the students' side. Ngayon, ipapakita ko sa inyo, ano naman yung interface doon sa teacher side. So, ito na din yung interface sa teacher side. So, halos walang uh, kaibahan. They're just the same on the teacher side. Kaya lang, yung maganda dito sa teacher side, meron din siya ditong, uh, ito, grades. Once I click on the grades, ako as a teacher, nakikita ko lahat ng progress sa aking sudyante. So, sila yung aking sudyante. I have 14 students for this class. So, sila yon. Ayan o, nakikita ko yung kanilang mga pangalan. And then dito, eto yung mga activity. Ito nakita natin dito sa taas. Ito yung mga activity kanina na ginagawa, uh, pinapakita ko sa inyo sa aking presentation. So, yun ang mga activity. So, lahat yun, so lahat yun recorded. Ano yung ginagawa doon ni Sudyante? Eh, recorded. Halimbawa, ito. Three. So, once I click this three, Eto yun o. Oh. Eto yung mga question kanina. Correct. Correct answer. So dito din makikita ni teacher na si Sjante pala sa question na ito ay incorrect siya dito na part. Incorrect din siya dito na part. So kaya pala yun lang yung kanyang score. So kapag nakita natin dito na masyadong mababa yung score ni Sjante, masyado siyang maraming uh, mali, so pwede ka magbigay sa kanya ng feedback. So yung feedback na mangyari is uh, confidential naman. Exclusive yan uh, for the students only. Kung sino yun si Sjante, so siya lang yung makakabasa ng feedback mo. And then, yung way ng feedback ay papasok din doon sa email ni Sjante, manonotify siya na nagbigay na ng feedback si teacher. Tapos, hindi yan mababasa ng mga kaklase. So, yun ang maganda doon. Tapos, mamaya ipapakita din sa inyo, another, another way sa pagbigay ng feedback, pwedeng overall feedback through group chat, through forum. Meron din tayong forum, meron tayong group chat, at meron din tayong private message. Okay. So, meron din si teacher, meron din siyang calendar. Kung saan sa calendar, eh, pwede, siya dito, pwede niyang ilagay dito lahat ng kanyang mga activity para hindi niya makalimutan. Para siyang ano natin, uh, planner. So, lahat dito. Lagyan mo ito ng mga activities and then si system na mismo yung mag... Uh, sesend sa'yo ng email para hindi mo makalimutan. Reminder, okay? Magre-remind siya sa'yo if ever na may mga palapit ka ng mga activity. So, don't you worry about the calendar kasi lahat naman nakalagay dyan is exclusive naman sa'yo. Hindi yan makikita ng other teachers or other students except if yung activity na yon ay involved sila. Okay? So, private files, pwede din na magdagdag dito ng mga private files si teacher para in case or yung mga learning materials niya mismo. Parang yung gagawin ninyo sa ating learning management system, parang imbaka na din ng mga files ninyo. Kasi kapag nawala yung, uh, nasira yung mga laptop ninyo, halimbawa, computers, Lahat ng mga files natin nandoon, di ba ang hirap nung isipin? Halimbawa na ang dami mo ng files, ang dami mo ng mga learning materials na nakasave, tapos biglang nasira yung hard drive, so wala na. So unlike kung nakapag-upload ka dito sa ating learning management system, eh wala akong problema kasi pwede mo nang i-download ulit. So yan lang po yung mga basic features. Basic features pa lang po. Meron po pang mga additional mga features na hindi na lang namin ipapakita muna kasi uh, showing of ano naman lang ito, uh, basic features, no? Tapos, makikita naman ninyo ito kapag nag hands na kayo, nakapag-workshop na din kayo. Dun, anyway, may video naman kaming ibibigay sa inyo. No, para sa walkthrough about doon sa paggamit ng ating LMS, pag-create ng course, pag-enroll ni sudyante, paano magbigay ng rating sa sudyante, ipapakita yan ng aking uh, kasama dyan sa ICTU, Sir Josh, good afternoon. Sir Josh, Good afternoon, Sir Noy. Yes, sir. Good afternoon. Thank you for your uh, very wonderful presentation ng ating overview sa learning management system. And now, uh, I will show po no? uh, how do Sir Noy, uh, how did those presentation being made uh, we will take only the basic things no? na kailangan natin uh, malaman para later on after the full series of our 
um, webinar, uh, you can have your own exploration sa ating system. So good afternoon po ulit sa lahat. Uh, let me share my screen. Yan. So first thing na makikita ng ating mga uh, in teachers, uh, learners, is the main screen of our learning management system. So kailangan natin mag-login to access what's inside. So let's log in. Click log in. Then we will use our accounts. These accounts will be given or will be activated by our ICT coordinators in the future para for safety purposes. No? So, lagi na po tayo para Facebook lang. Ayan. So, when nag-loading, uh, this is uh, the main interface of our learning management system. So, how do we make topics no, inside the learning management system. So all we have to do is click the create new course. Then the page will direct us to the add a new course panel so that we can um, edit the details of the course or subject that we are going to create. So first is the course full name. So for as an example, uh, we will just use uh, science three. Then for the course short name, I will just input sci three. So this is very important because uh, this will be used in the navigation panel of our learning management system. Para mas madali na pong uh, it trace yung course subject natin. So as you can see here in uh, the rightmost corner, sa navigation panel, so we can see the previous uh, subjects that were made. All right, let's now proceed. So in the course category, uh, this is where we gonna input kung saan natin ilalagay yung course na course subject na ginawa natin. So, input ko siya sa elementary since uh, this is for science grade 3 learners. Then the course visibility, of course, it should be shown so that our learners will be able to see the course when they enroll. So, dito sa course start date and course end date. So, in traditional uh, learning, uh, this is the school year or the uh, start date of the uh, first class and the ending date of the class. No? Uh, para lang siyang academic year. So, in pag ginamit na natin yung learning management system, no? uh, we will enable this. But for now, as for an example, uh, disable muna natin para magamit agad natin ang course subject. And then let's go to the description tab. Sa so course summary naman, kung meron tayong uh, short summary, uh, short description of our course subject, we can enter here. Huh? Uh, you can just input anything that is relevant to the course subject, like plants and animals. And anything that we can add on. So here in the course image, uh, we can also upload a cover page for our course subject. So for our um, graphic artist, uh, when we create our own cover photo for the said subject, uh, we can just upload it here uh, just by clicking this uh, arrow down or this the file button. You can click either way or you can simply drag the file to this box. So I'm gonna drag the file. So this is my cover page for the science tree. So as you can see, yun, automatic, uh, ready for uploading na. So accepted files, 
these three file types, the GIF. So, pwede yung moving pictures or yung steady pictures as long as the file type is supported. Now, let's go to course format tab. So, dito natin um, makikita paano ba natin gustong uh, ipakita sa mga learners ang arrangement ng ating uh, course subject. So, for example, uh, commonly used is the topics format. Sa so, nakita natin kanina kay Sir Noy. So, it's very simple and hindi masakit sa mata. So, hindi mahirapan ng learners natin na hanapin ang ating mga topics. So, I'm gonna choose topics format. Then, the number of sections will indicate how many topics are we gonna uh, input in our course subject. So, for now, let's just choose two. Since this is just a presentation, uh, para mas uh, konti lang ang nakikita na ating mga mga. And of course, this should be hidden, uh, shown rather, so that uh, your students can uh, see immediately the topics for the course subject. Now let's go to the appearance. So this is where if we are in English mode, uh, we can force it in English so that um, all words will be purely in English. But kung hindi naman, uh, pwede naman natin siyang i- uh, wag lang i-enable. So, the rest uh, can be just leave as it is for now uh, so that we can take immediately our course subject. So, show course uh, show grade book to students, of course, yes, so that they can see their own grades. Uh, wag po mag-alala ang ating mga teachers on the kung kaninong account uh, naka-open. Uh, yun lang po ang makikita ni student, no? yung sarili niyang gado. Hindi uh, niya makikita yung grades ng iba niyang kaklase for safety purposes. So, we can leave the others. Let's proceed to the files and uploads. Dito, importante mag-set tayo ng limit sa ating mga ina-upload ng mga materials kasi pag masyado na mabigat ang materials natin, pos possible na si system ay hindi makayanan in the long run. No? So, mas maigi na tansyahin natin na yung upload limit natin no? sa mga files and learning materials. So, we can just set 50 MB as the maximum file uploads para maiwasan ang mga downtime ng ating servers. Then completion tracking. Of course, we should enable this para makita ni student sa while taking the course kung saan na ba siya banda. Makikita niya yung progress bar kung ilang percent na ang na-finish niya sa course subject. Then groups. So sa normal, traditional uh, classes, uh, we always group our students uh, in various groups so that um, they can take a by group activities. But for now, we will just not use this since we don't have any group of students for now. So, sa role naming naman, so of course, sa mga Students natin is mga bata pa. So there are certain technical terms that are foreign pa sa kanila. So the teacher, uh, he, he or she can just make aliases for those words that are not so familiar with our students. So that's for role naming. Then sa tags naman, of course, we are familiar with those hashtags. So we can input uh, short hashtags for our uh, science subject para mas madali pong ma-search ng ating learners. Kapag, kasi marami ng uh, subjects sa learning management system, so mahihirapan po ang ating students mag-search kasi marami pong science subject. We can just put side 3. Okay. So now we'll proceed to save and display para makita natin ang outline ng ating ginawang core subject. So, wag mag-alala ang ating mga teachers and 
uh, trainers, uh, this system is very reliable when this system will be uploaded to our uh, central office servers. Uh, this will take more faster no, than we are experiencing now. So here we are. No? We can see the subject is created, the science tree. And we can also see the cover page that we have uploaded. So para mas makita natin yung course subject natin, punta tayo sa all courses. Ito sa all courses, all previously made or recently made subjects can be seen. So nilagay ko siya kanina sa elementary. So tingnan natin kung nag-appear yung course subject natin. Ayan. Ayan na si Science 3. So, click ko lang muna itong dashboard para mas makita natin si Science 3. Currently, maraming umaaccess sa ating network. So, this will also affect na, the speed of our uh, browsing. So, ayan na po. Nakikita natin yung in-upload natin course subject. Now, we will proceed to creation of the topic. Just click the course subject and directly we can go to the topic creation. So, first thing to do is the, to turn editing on para ma-edit natin ang mga topics ng ating course subject. Just simply click turn editing on. So, pag naka-indicate na na turn editing is off, so meaning naka-turn on na po ang ating editing. So, we can now just edit the topic title. So, para sa akin, gusto ko yung uh, title, plants and animals. And just type the word and press enter. Ayan, plants and animals. Then, we're gonna add an a learning material para sa ating topic. So, may nag-prepare na po akong learning material. Just simply click add an activity or resource. Then we will proceed to uploading a file. So, this is the most commonly and the simplest way on how to upload a learning material no? para for just a quick view. So, just click file, then add. So we will rename our top uh, learning material as plants and animals. Just for an example, for my description, we can also add it. Then we will select the appearance later. But first, let's upload the learning material. So as I said before, you can just click uh, the add button or the are done key and you can also drag no? drag and drop files here to add the item so gusto ko mag drag and drop para mas madali so, ito yung topic o learning material na na prepare ko so it is in pdf file no para hindi na po siya editable kasi yung kung maglalagay tayo ng word or hindi po kasi constant na no? baka ma-edit mo yung learning material so, better on PDF. Ang isa pang feature ni PDF file is when our learners are using mobile devices, uh, the system will automatically adjust to the uh, display of their mobile devices. So, meron din tayong um, mobile app for the Moodle. You can just search the App Store or Play Store. Later on, sa ating mga training, sa uh, malalaman natin paano yan. So, for now, let's upload the resource material. Ayan. So, ready na ang ating resource material. Uh, we can just add some tags. Uh, plants and animals. 
para madaling ma-search nating learners. Then, let's save and display para makita agad natin ang ating in-upload na learning resource. Ayan. Uh, while uploading, ayan na po siya. So, nakikita natin dito sa gilid yung file na uh, we have just uploaded. So, we can go back to our course subject uh, para makita natin ang outline ng ating science 3 course subject. Ayan. So, nakikita na natin agad. So, ito po ang interface na makita na ating learner. So, now we have finished... Um, uploading our learning material. Uh, we, I will just edit this. Uh, I think this is lesson one. No? Gagawin natin lesson para mas uh, clear sa ating mga participants. And now, I will introduce to you how to add a quiz. No? After sa lesson, so normally, may quiz ang mga sudyante, So, kailangan natin... Yan, malaman paano ba ina-add yung mga quiz dito sa learning management system. No? So, simply just click add an activity or resource again. Then choose the quiz selection or option. Click quiz and then click the add button. So, in this quiz creation, the system will direct us to the... Uh, Editing of details for our quiz. Uh, let's just name our quiz as quiz one. Simple as quiz one para mas madali. Then the timing. So importante po ang timing na maset natin. So in the actual procedure kasi, uh, di natin gusto na advance magte-take ng quiz si student. No? Pag hindi natin to na lagay, baka at na-display doon sa ating outline ng course subject, baka hindi pa siya nag-take ng lesson 1, eh, nauna na niyang na siya mag-take ng, ng quiz. So, in traditional way of classes, uh, lessons first, then after a few days or after the first day, tomorrow, the student will have their quizzes. So, sim just simply enable, no? open, open the quiz. This is the start date and the closing date. So, you, we can set the, um, kailan natin gustong mag-take ang mga sudyante or kailan natin gustong ipakita or access, kailan ma-access ang ating quiz. So, for now, uh, we will disable this para makatake tayo ng quiz in a short while. And time limit. Importante din na may enable ito para uh, hindi naman buong araw na nakatenga yung sudyante niya natin na magsagot sa quiz. So para naman uh, merong uh, konting pressure factor sa ating students, uh, we should set a time limit. Normally, on tradition, traditional classes, uh, this is well observed. So, we can do this also in our online learning management system. Um, we can also choose uh, how the quiz will behave when time expires. So, there are three choices. Open attempts are submitted automatically. The second is, there is a grace period when open attempts can be submitted. But no more questions answered. Attempts must be submitted before the time expires or they are not counted. So, pipiliin po natin itong open attempts are submitted automatically. Para naman po hindi masayang yung mga sinagutan ng ating sudyante when time expires. So, the third choice is uh, somewhat uh, medyo uh, uh, hindi naman fair sa ating students na nag-take kasi medyo kawawa mga bata pa naman sila. So, grade 3. So, we will just select the first option. Then on our grading, uh, we can set the passing grade. For example, uh, we have set the the full 
subject uh, the quiz to 10 points uh, we can enter the half score as the passing grade or whatever uh, percentage is uh, being practiced on the curriculum so num attempts allowed of course is some basis lang so hindi naman pwedeng uh, marambis magtake ng quiz si student kasi may memorize na niya yung mga questions no? dito tayo sa layout so this this tab uh, will show us paano ba natin ipapakita sa ating learners ang uh, questions uh, is it in one page one question per page or two question per page it's up to us now but for me these uh, the most um Anong tawag dito? Yung presentable sa mata ng estudyante is one question per page para hindi siya malilito sa sasagutan niya. So, ito ang pipiliin ko. Then on question behavior, this is one of the features of our learning management system is we can shuffle the questions no? within the quiz. So unlike the traditional way of having a quiz, uh, pwede pong magkopyahan yung mga Estudyante natin, without um, reading the questions, no? titignan niya lang yung sagot ng katabi niya, yung uh, choice pattern, A, B, C, D, D, E, A, C, C, ayun. So dito, uh, we can shuffle the questions para maiwasan yung mga cheating na ating tinatawag during online classes. So... Um, no students have the same set of questions kung marami tayong questions. Uh, the many are the questions and uh, the more, the higher chances na hindi magkakaparehas ang questionnaire ng ating mga uh, learners. So, just choose yes for safety. Review options. So, this will be taken care of our technical team pa sa ating mga course creator. No? Uh, this will be the behavior of our quiz. Later on, uh, we will learn about this when we are very used to the system. But for now, let's leave it as it is. And let's go to appearance. So kung mayroon tayo mga pictures as jante, pwede natin i- ipakita no? for presentation purposes but for me wag na muna kasi uh, we don't have that many students for now this small place in grade so this is used commonly when add-on sa mga quizzes natin na uh, may mga short answers no for example uh, yung answer niya medyo tama medyo mali so you can give your student a 0.5 points no kaya makakaunt pa din yung Sagot niya, minsan uh, students will ask favor from the teachers na, ma'am, baka naman, sir, baka you can consider this answer. Okay, sige, uh, since medyo tama yung sagot mo, medyo lang, I will give you half point. So, you can use decimal places in grades. Now, let's go to the uh, activity completion. Uh, we will just choose the students can mark can manually mark the activity as completed para sila po yung uh, makakaalam kung hanggang saan na ang na-take nila. Then let's proceed to tags again. It's like just hashtags. Uh, let's put quiz 1, science 3 for easy searching of our learners. Pwede din um, quiz 1, science 3. May sectioning sila, uh, section Rizal. Yan, yan. Para madali pong search natin students. And then, let's proceed to save and display. And now, we have set the uh, conditions in our quiz one. Nulit po, uh, wala pa po tayong questions na can you create. Ito na po ang ating sunod na tatalikayin. So let's just click the edit quiz. On this section, we will be 
adding the questions to our quiz one and we will set the maximum grade later when we already have the set questions so um, one of the features of our learning management system is once we have already added a question in our quiz one or other quizzes, uh, it will be automatically stored in a question bank. So after a school year, so the next year is the same subject, the same lessons, no? Possible, possibly the same quizzes, the same set of questions. So we can just import the previously made questionnaires, uh, hindi na po tayo magka-create pa. So, it's a one-time upload and a forever usage. So, may forever po pala talaga <laughs> dito sa learning management system. As long as we have um, a server, no, we can access this learning management system. So, simply click uh, add question. Sa akin gusto ko itong multiple choice. No? Gusto mag add ng multiple choice. Sa ating quiz one. So by default, category for science three. Then question name. Again, natin question number one. Q one. Question text. So, kung meron na tayong nakaready na mga questionnaire, uh, we can just simply copy paste po sa ating mga module, sa ating mga learning materials na pinobide ng region or ng depend. So dito, mayroon ako nahanap na uh, set of questions. So we can use this. Automatically. Okay. So first question. Profile is... Ayan. Ganyan lang po. Pwede natin i-customize ang ating questions. Default mark or default points will be one point. For, uh, we can also set no, the default mark for easy question for the uh, hindi ganon ka daling question. Then for hard questions, we can set um, bigger points. No? We can also do that in our system. So if we have one answer only, so of course, show one answer only. If we have, if the question can does have uh, multiple answers uh, we can choose multiple answers are allowed uh, but for this one we only have one answer then we will choose the number or the bullets of our quiz answers so commonly used is the a abc short uh lowered case so answers, we will now set the answers, letter A. So if this is the correct answer, you can simply put 100% equivalent to one point. So proceed tayo. Yan lang po, copy paste, copy paste lang po. So for sure, our Department of Education, the CLMD, uh, are working on this. No? Uh, Nakaset na po lahat ng mga learning uh, resource and materials that will be uploaded in our system. And later on, uh, after everything is set up, these things will be easily used na. These quizzes and learning resource might be actually uh, prepared na, no? Ni teacher. Nandun na sa kanyang subject. So, no need for the teachers to have hassle uh, doing everything on their own. So, let's thank the CLMD for their hard work on this part, on uploading the resource materials for our learning management system. So, kung mali po ang ating choice, so, simply put none para walang score na mabigay sa ating learners. So, continue po tayo um, putting our uh, answers. And copy paste. 
and choose none if it is wrong. Ulitin natin. Yan. I'm just using uh, control C, control V. Control C for copy, then control V for pasting shortcut. Ayan, kung wala na po tayo mga ibang choices, uh, we can just simply ignore the if choice. No? If we leave this blank, uh, this will not be displayed in the choices. Then combine feedback if the answer is correct, of course. Uh, you can put encouraging messages no? para sa ating learners para posigido silang mag-aral. Very good. And for the wrong answers, uh, you can simply put, mm, please study more. To get your score. Yan, encouraging message. Para uh, hindi madown yung mga heart ng ating uh, little children. So, some multiple tries tab. Uh, we will leave this for now since uh, we only have uh, one. We have chosen a uh, one time only of trying our quiz. So, you can just simply save changes. Kung ako ay natin. First question natin. Okay, value. Ayun, nag-loading na pala. So, we have already added a, our first question. So, ipapakita ko po paano gumagana yung question bank natin. So, as I said earlier, all previously made questions will be available in our question bank. So, we can just do a recycle on the coming school years. Ayan, andyan na si Chlorophyll. So, kung another school year naman po ang, ang darating, so we can... Simply select the previously previously made question to be added to our first quiz. So for now, I will add another question. Uh, gusto ko to or false naman para uh, unique. Okay. So commonly used uh, mga quiz type natin. So just simply put uh, abbreviation or question name. Sa akin, gusto ko simple lang Q2 for question number 2. Then, questioner. Dito, gusto ko ito naman. Low cost is gagawin ko po itong true or false na question. Ha? The sugar is by plants to grow and develop. Yan, true by ito. So this is true. So the correct answer is true. So you can also write the feedback on your right answer. Very good. And for the false answer, please study more. And so we save changes. Ayan po, finish na tayo sa question number two. We will just add one more questionnaire. Um, gusto ko short answer naman for identification type. Question name, uh, question number three. Question text, ayan. Pwede kong gawin ito. Nagawin no? kong uh, answer question itong uh, questionnaire na ito. No? Blank or living organism that requires eating food to get energy Needed to grow and develop. So the student will now um, 
find the missing word or the missing text. Let's go to our answer tab, the answer number one. We can input plus. It's one of the question uh, answers. So of course, this is the wrong answer. So we'll put none for the grade. Chlorophyll, one of the answer. This is also the wrong answer. So we just have to put none for the grade. So if the correct answer is answer number three, simply put a uh, hundred percent mark for for it to be graded or scored. Ang tapos na tayo sa ating choices, we can just save, uh, click save changes para makita agad natin ang ating ginawang question number three. So now we have uh, accomplished the three questions. So dito sa maximum grade since three questions, uh, we can simply put three as maximum grade or we can also set six and edit the points of each questions to two para saktong maximum grade magiging six for easy question and hard question you can also do uh, whatever scores you like for your, that particular questionnaire uh, lagyan na lang natin ng one itong isa kasi medyo madali itong uh, a, B, C, D, yung multiple choice. Then gagawin natin 3, itong, ano, uh, uh, itong question number 3. Para saktong uh, 6 points ang may bibigay natin. May iti-change lang po ako. Saglit lang. So dito pala sa ating uh, short answer, we can just input the correct answer. No? Hindi na po pala kailangan ng uh, wrong answer dito kasi automatically kung mali yung sagot nila, hindi yung uh, correct answer yung uh, provide nila sa short answer question, automatically mali po yun. So, you can set all the possible answer. So, and input, uh, baka mag-type sila ng small uh, lowered case na hete heterotropes. At minsan naman, uh, mag-type nila heterotrope lang. Uh, we can consider this answer. So, any of these three answers will be marked correct for the short answer questions. So let's save changes. Ayan. So ready na ang ating quiz. So now let's proceed. Paano ba mag-create mag ng assignment naman? So of course, we should not forget to save our um, changes on the said quiz para hindi masayang effort natin sa pag edit ng details. So, just simply click save. And this quiz it will be ready to be answered by our students in the coming next topic. But for now, we'll, let's proceed to creation of an assignment. Then later on, a student will take on the lesson, quiz, and assignment that we have made. So, na finish na natin nating uh, how to create a quiz on learning management system. So, simply go to navigation panel for a uh, quick shortcut of our lesson. Uh, just click lesson one. Ayan, and the system will direct us to the outline of our course subject. So, nakikita na natin yung ginawa nating quiz lesson. Now, let's add 
another activity for our students. Uh, this will be called assignments. So just simply choose assignment and click add. So now the system has directed us to the details on how will our assignment be done by our students. So assignment name, simply put, uh, ano yung gusto nyo? Uh, ano bang ipapagawa nating uh, assignment sa ating mga bata? So gusto ko mag-upload sila, no? An image. Upload an image. Oh, i-mamal. Gusto ko mamal. Uh, animals that are able to produce milk under organs. Then kung meron tayong uh, cover photo or for our graphic artists, kung meron tayong na-edit ng mga uh, beautiful cover page, we can just simply add it on our assignment activity but for now let's proceed to availability tab so dito naman para lang quiz kagaya kanina so mayroong availability option para hindi naman advance na ma it take me student yung assignment before the lesson but for now we will just disable this one para naman ha, magamit agad natin at matake ang assignment maya maya lamang po for the cut-off date, so of course, ang mga assignment natin ay may deadline. So dito natin is set uh, kailan ang deadline ng ating assignment. And now, uh, hindi muna natin ito i-enable, kaya na yung sinabi ko, para ma, uh, ma-take natin ang assignment agad-agad mamaya. So meron din um, reminder or remind me later para kay teacher, no? Para aware si teacher na meron pa siyang mga um, uh, assignments na hindi pa na gadohan. No? Hindi pa niya nag-grade. So, hindi pa niya na-check. So, hindi kasi yung mga assignments natin, si teacher mismo, uh, manually, he or she check every assignment submitted by his or her student. So, of course, uh, remind me. Yeah, you can just simply disable or enable kung ayaw, kung ayaw yung ma-remind. Kung perfect yung memory nyo, <laughs> uh, just disable this one. Or kung gusto nyo ma-remind, uh, of course, our teachers have so many things in mind no? to do their uh, uh, mga plano para sa klase nila. So, importante po na remind tayo. So, dito naman sa submission type, importante na maset natin ang ating uh, maximum number of upload files. So, isang image lang ang kailangan natin. So, let's just choose one. Of course, for the maximum submission size, uh, this is very important. Mas uh, dapat tansyado natin yung uh, file size ng ating mga activity. No? Para pag-upload ni student, gaya ng assignment, uh, hindi masyado mabigata na ating learning management system. So we don't need very large image naman. So we can just make it 1 MB. No? Uh, there are 1 MB images are already big enough no? para klaro sa ating mga mata. Uh, dito naman sa accepted file types, uh, I will set all file types. No? Kasi baka yung ibang student natin mag-upload ng file types na hindi natin uh, uh, hindi familiar sa kanila. Uh, it's an image pero probably hindi naman po lahat ng isasubmit nila. It's just the same file type. Uh, let's take note on what our, our learners at. Since they are grade 3, so possible uh, they can, they will not be aware of what kind of file types they are uploading. Submission settings, hit the submit button, uh, yes, para makita nila yung button na nag-submit talaga sila. Require the students to accept the submission statement, pwede na no. 
attempts to open sim sim Siyempre, uh, never. No? Isang beses lang magte-take na assignment, so never po ang ating choose. So now let's proceed to the grade. So maximum grade of our assignments is 100 points. Uh, we can put any points we want. Um, grade to pass is 50. And we can just leave the other details as is for now so on activity completion students can manually mark the subject or the activity as completed with it in so in the tags hashtags as uh, mentioned earlier is for easy searching of our learners assignment one and three. All right. Now let's save and display. Makita natin ang ating assignment. So now uh, we have finished creating our assignment. Let's see kung nakikita sa ating course outline ang ating mga ginawa. Ayan na po. Completed na po ang ating lesson one for now. Uh, we will now proceed to the student account para makita naman po natin kung ano yung nakikita na ating sudyante no, sa interface nila using the learning management system when they are uh, enrolled on this subject. But of course, we have to uh, enable the one of the enrollment methods to our subject para naman uh, safety po ang ating for subject, hindi siya accessible by just anyone. No? Uh, this will be only accessible for a certain section at hindi po ng ibang klase. So gusto ko mag-create ng password or code para kung sino lang yung bibigyan ko, sila lang yung makaka-access sa ating lesson. So this is one of the features of our learning management system for safety purposes. So simply scroll down and go to the administration uh, section. Uh, click users and click enrollment methods for our course subject. Ayan. So dito meron po tayong uh, tatlong ways on how to enroll our students. So, meron pong manual enrollment, guest access, meaning uh, this will be open for all people. Then, we'll, meron din tayong self-enrollment uh, students. So, gusto ko mag-add ng method. Ah, meron na pala. So, self-enrollment method, dito natin uh, uh, gagawin yung uh, code pa sa ating uh, course subject para safe ang ating lessons. So instance name, simply put uh, anything, no? na anything short para sa ating ano. Gusto ko lang uh, side 3 instance name. Then, dito tayo sa enrollment key. Dito natin isi-set ang password ng ating course. So simply put, kung meron tayong uh, sectioning sa ating um, course subject, uh, pwede nating ilagay kung ano yung section nila. For me, uh, I will in input their section but I will encrypt it a little. So, pagpalagay natin section Rizal ang ating mga learners. So, yan. Uh, I have inputted Rizal but I have made the vowels into number format para meron tayong security. No? Para medyo encrypted naman ang ating or subject. So now let's proceed to save changes. Paano save yung ating uh, course code? So after reviewing, kung wala nang mali sa ating set, uh, let's proceed. So andyan na, side 3. So simply click 
enable no para ma-enable ang ating um, enrollment key ng ating for subject so ayan so just click the i icon kapag may slash meaning inactive or disabled pag naka-open na yung i icon natin meaning enabled na siya so now let's proceed to our uh, student account pa makita naman natin ano bang uh, ano bang environment no ng student sa teachers uh, versus the teachers so now i'll be calling on my uh, colleague here in ICTU to take the uh, student account um ma'am lujin uh, are you ready yes sir thank you sir. hello ma'am lujin uh, Ayan, pag nakita na natin yung uh, subject ni teacher, pwede na natin i-click itong enter this course. At dito sa enrollment key, itatype natin kung ano enrollment key na binigay ni teacher. So, tinype ko yung r 1 c a l So, and click the enroll me button. Ayan, nakapasok na tayo sa mga sa lesson ni teacher. So, kailangan na nating basahin tong mga binigay ni teacher na lesson at sagutin yung quiz at assignment. So, click natin itong PDF file at babasahin natin itong mga lessons na binigay ni teacher. At kapag napag-aralan na natin ito, uh, pwede natin, natin ibalik doon sa dashboard ng student at mag-take na tayo ng quiz. If ready na si student na mag-take ng quiz. So, click the attempt quiz now button and start the attempt. So, ito. Dito sa part na ito ay malalaman natin kung ilang items na ang quiz na binigay ni teacher. At ito yung time na binigay. Kung ilang minuto lang ang binigay para sagutan itong quiz. So, kailangan na natin sagutan kasi nag-start na ang time. So, so pag kapag tapos na tayo sa magsagutan itong quiz, pwede na nating i-click yung finish attempt. If hindi pa tayo sure sa sagot natin at may time pa tayong natitira, pwede natin i-click itong return to attempt at palitan yung mga sagot ko. At kapag ano, okay na tayo sa sagot natin, pwede na natin i-submit all and finish. I-click ng itong submit all and finish at Ayan, makikita na natin na zero ako sa quiz. <laughs> so, eto, ma-review ma ko naman kung anong tamang sagot ng mga tanong ni teacher. So, ma-review ko ngayon kung anong mga tamang sagot at pwede ko nang pag-aralan sa susunod. Then, pagkatapos natin mag-take ng quiz at i-review tong quiz, so, finish, click the finish review. Yan. At kapag tapos na tayo sa quiz, ngayon naman, punta tayo sa assignment. Uh, upload an image of a mammal. So, um, ang assignment na instruction ni teacher ay upload an image of a mammal. At kung ready na tong image na ng assignment, so click na natin si add submission. Pwede nating i-drag at drop itong 
picture dito sa box or punta ay click natin itong button add at hanapin natin sa hanapin natin sa ating computer ang image para sa assignment at click upload this image Kapag open, okay na itong image natin, pwede na natin i-click Save Changes. Um, itong assignment natin ay 4 grade pa. Hindi pa ito grade. Kaya lang natin antayin si teacher para bigyan ng grade ang ating assignment. So, um, pwede ko po bang ibalik kay teacher Josh, ang screen, uh, share the screen para sa ating pagpagbigrade ng ating teacher Josh. Yes, Ma'am Lujin. Uh, thank you so much for taking our lessons, quiz, and assignments uh, para mapakita natin sa ating participants on how the system uh, basically uh, functions. So now, um, Ma'am Lujin has just finished the quiz. So, isang feature po ng ating system is agad-agad makikita po ni student ang mga tama at maling sagot niya. No? Para malaman niya, ah, ito pala yung tamang sagot. So, no need for the teacher to, na uh, gaya ng uh, traditional way of checking our quizzes, iisa-isahin pa ni teacher, o minsan, uh, the teacher lets her students, so, um, correct the answers of each of the students. No? Um, they just do the um, exchange of paper or kung ano-ano pang technique para uh, hindi mapunta sa estudyante yung papel niya para iba ang mag-check sa kanyang uh, questionnaire. So dito sa system, uh, no need na po yun. Uh, uh, the traditional way is, of course, uh, there are loopholes. So, meron tayong mga matatalinong isudyante na pinapalitan ng mga sagot uh, while checking kasi kaibigan nila yung nag-check. <laughs> so, meron pa nga yung technique noon na pag hindi sigurado sa sagot ng multiple choice is uh, isasulat lang ng kaklase niya is letter C. So, si letter C naman is pwede daw gawing A, pwede gawing B, pwede gawing D. So, <laughs> <laughs> While checking the answer of his classmates, uh, the certain checker can change the answer uh, without erasures. So that is a very, uh, say, uh, what we say, one of a kind technique then. Uh, pero of course, our teachers are aware of this. So in learning management system, uh, this will be, will not be possible. Kasi once answered or submitted, uh, this is, already final. And after na masubmit, automatically si student makikita niya ang score niya, mga tamang sagot at maling sagot is available on his screen. So, great. so now let's proceed to the uh, assignment na sinabit ni Ma'am Lujin. So paano ba ginigrade ni teacher ang ating assignment? So dito sa assignments tab, uh, this will automatically direct us doon sa uh, summary, no? course, uh, assignment, outline. So, dito makikita ni teacher yung mga uh, participants. So, for now, we have one participant. And meron ang uh, ungraded uh, or draft assignment. So, para makita niya yung mga sinabit ng mga assignment. So, simply view, oh, so, the draft has not been submitted. Um, wait lang po tayo para i-resubmit ni Ma'am Lujin ang kanyang assignment. Uh, later on na lang po. So, dito, uh, sa assignment, simply big grade. So, nakita ni teacher, nag-access si yung student niya ng ano, ng na assignment, uh, partially submitted yung kanyang uh, assignment. Uh, check natin kung pwede ba natin ma-access itong sinamit ng student.
Ayan, downloading po. O, oh, ayan. Nakikita ng bunga natin. So, yung assignment is upload an uh, image of a mammal. So, sa nakikita natin, o, oh, ang dami ng ano dito. <laughs> ang daming hayop. So, in action natin, isang hayop lang kasi of a mammal lang. So, singular. So, may nakikita si teacher dito na bird. Hindi naman po mammal ang bird. So, si teacher, ah, ano lang ito? 50% lang. O, oh, 75. Okay, not uh, following instruction. So, feedback is pwede yung lagyan ni teacher. Uh, you must follow instruction correctly. You only you only need to upload to so, so one animal. So dito, may option si teacher kung maraming nag-submit, uh, he or she can click save and show next. Pero for now, we only have one. So we will just save changes. Importante din itong notify student uh, option para kung nagaduhan na natin si student is notify po ang ating estudyante na tapos na pala si teacher mag-grade sa kanyang assignment. So just simply save changes. Okay, the changes to the grade and feedback for same. All right. So now, uh, titingnan natin yung feature ni system na kanina pinakita ni Sir Noy na nakita ang grades ng kanyang mga estudyante. So, uh, ito po yung mga mga nagpapadali po sa buhay ng ating teacher, no? Uh, they can simply view the grades of their students online. Pwede rin nila itong i-export through Excel file para copy-paste na lang po sila doon sa uh, scores ng bata. So, dito nakikita ni teacher yung uh, history na pinagawa ng kanyang mga estudyante. So, sa quiz 1, oh, bakit nagi na zero ang aking student na si Kitty? Bakit kaya? Titingnan ni teacher ngayon ano bang pinagagawa ng batang ito. So, obviously, parang hindi nag-study uh, well ang ating estudyante. So, she got the questions wrong. So, ayan po. Makikita po na estudyante yung feedback ng kanyang teacher. No? So, mas okay kasi Um, na-encourage natin student to study more and malalaman din niya kung ano yung tamang sagot for every wrong answer. So, ayan po. Uh, ito po ang gandahan ng ating sistema na ginagawa ngayon. Uh, this will be the uh, easy uh, easying the yung tawag dito yung burden ng ating teachers No? Mas napapadali na po ang computation, ang, ang viewing of grades and records. Hindi na po kailangan lungkatin pa ni teacher yung record book niya o record holders para sa mga history ng activities. So now we are finished in our uh, basic uh, guidelines or basic uh, LMS functions or features that can be done by our own teachers and trainers, I will uh, pass back the time to our webmaster, uh, Sir Nonoy Edong. Hello, sir.
um, MCs, uh, are you there? Are you there? Ah, okay. So, proceed na po tayo sa ating mga uh, uh, CLMD personnel para po sa next session na ating uh, Hi, webinar. Hi, Sir Josh. Ah, yes, ma'am. Hello po. Yes, so, uh, that's a very great presentation. Thank you so much, ma'am. You now stop sharing my screen. I uh, will give the time to you. So sa ating mga participants, uh, huwag po tayong mag-alala. Uh, the first time of doing our system is the, of course, this is the hard part. Pero later on, uh, pag gamay na natin yung sistema, so uh, para na lang itong Facebook dati, mahirap gamitin. So ngayon, uh, kahit papikit-pikit na tayo, uh, alam na natin saan i-click ang mga buttons na kung mag a post tayo or upload ng ating mga uh, images. So, gaya din ng ibang learning management system, so the important part dito ay maset na natin yung mga learning resource para mas madaling gamitin ng ating uh, teachers, learners, and trainers. So now, can I pass on the session? Yes, Sir Jess. So, hello po. Audible po ba? Yes, ma'am. Very clear. Yes. So, uh, it's that's a very great presentation. And now, um, let's now welcome our our education, uh, our all apps. So now, um, let me uh, let me call on first, Ma'am Inday Webos. Hello, Mom and Dai. So, I'll come on now. Hi. Hello, Mom and Dai. Na kamiyut pa yo. Yes, hello. Hi, Bu Mom. Good afternoon. So, uh, any message po to all our participants? Ah, uh, I think si Dr. Pirandoy ang magbigay ng message for them this uh, afternoon. Uh -oh. Yes, thank you so much, Ma'am Inday. So, let me call on our beautiful... Uh, okay, so our apps here, Ma'am Ma Ma Berandoy, good afternoon po. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, yes. my team. Yes, okay, Puma. so uh, what's my role? <laughs> you cannot give a message to all our participants, Puma, since uh, this is your program for this day po. Uh, lahat naman po ng ating participants for this uh, activity is all uh, science po. So uh, you can now give your message po, ma'am. Okay, uh, so to all uh, science illustrators and layout artists, I hope, looking forward that you have a great learning on this uh, training, and uh, you just ask questions, address that to your division supervisors. If there are times, if we we still have time, rather this afternoon you can ask questions. You have questions, okay? And then after the training. Um, you will be uh, working together with the uh, writers, with your writers in the division, uh, content validator, and language editor. So uh, uh, perhaps after the, the making of the uh, lesson exemplar, when it comes to content, you will be the one to encode that here in our LMS. However, since uh, this is internet-based, uh, there are times maybe if 
many will access uh, we cannot uh, access immediately because it's internet based i hope uh, this lms shall be uh, uh, download uh, shall be uh, cascaded to uh, the school base so that it will be more accessible for our teachers especially in the encoding of the incoming lesson exemplars so to all of, to all of you especially the division science supervisors from the 11 divisions i hope you will learn something from this and you, you will appreciate how the lms of our region will be like and will be applied later on and then I hope you will be also motivated to really inspire our uh, development team in writing our lesson exemplars. So to all of you, good luck and God bless. And may I also extend my heartfelt gratitude to the head of the ICTU, Mr. Ricardo Ginto, for having this training possible and to your team also serving. Thank you so much and may God bless us all too. Okay. Thank you so much, Ma'am Berandoy, for that wonderful message to all our viewers. So, nakita niyo po kung gaano ang pagsisikap ng ating CLMT and to all subject areas just to make our new normal uh, to be effective and for the teachers to be ready. Okay po, so now, for a while. Thank you so much, Ma'am Berandoy. And now we have our special guest for the end of our session. Okay, now, so let me call on our special guest. Send, are you ready now to know who is our special guest? And here it is. Hi, Sir Mark. Good afternoon. I miss you. <laughs> Hello. Good afternoon. I miss you again. <laughs> so, so, Sir, uh, our first... We're not going to do what we're doing now, but okay. Lang. Uh, okay. Nga natin, we always take time. Opo. So, Sir Mark, our region is now implementing a regional LMS, and I know that your office is also very supported with that. And so, Sir Mark, you can now give a message to all our viewers and to all to our apps here. Okay, po. So, to all of our uh, teacher participants who are actually trying their best in understanding the complexities of using a learning management system, here's my message. It's just actually constant practice. At first, it is really difficult to adjust, but at the end of the day, once we have this constant practice, just like uh, teaching someone how to walk. So with these processes, it will empower us more. And don't worry, we will be continuously helping Suri, also your division in terms of uh, supplementing uh, different trainings and uplifting the necessary skills to, to use these kind of uh, technology. LMS is actually uh, not new, but many of us, especially in the Philippines, in the public school institution, is actually on its way learning these tools. At the end of the day, the question there is that, how capable are we? How confident are we in delivering these skills? It is not yet uh, too late to learn about these things, but my assurance to all of you, once you have learned all of these skills, it's just like a matter of delivering a face-to-face -face instruction. Ganun lang po siya kadali. Yun nga lang, as I've mentioned before, since this is internet dependent, we need to give a, somehow a leeway to our learners because we need to understand them. We will try our best um, in the central office. We will coordinate with your respective division so that we could actually whitelist this kind of learning management system. So for our learners who doesn't have really the access, the load, or having certain credits for it, then we could work it out. So, hindi, hindi po ako nagsasabi ng uh, tapos, kaagad na magagawa po ito, but 
the central office is doing its best. We will help your respective uh, your respective uh, region so that we could deliver this kind of uh, platform to our learners. So to our teachers, congratulations, and please be patient. We still have almost uh, two more months, I guess, two and a half months in order for us to prepare ourselves with a new normal classroom. Kaya po natin to ng sama-sama, hindi po kayo maiiwan. We are going to help you. Ang kinakailangan lang po natin, the trust and confidence with each other. So, Region 11, congratulations. Yes, thank you so much, Sir Mar, for that support. And now, because of your support, we're going to call our regional ITO, Sir Rick Ginto. Hi, Sir. Hello. Hello, Sir. Hi, Sir Rick. Sir, thank you very much po sa support na ginagawa niyo po sa amin. At alam niyo, yung mga teachers natin, ang dami po mga message dito. Ang sabi nila, Sir Mark, we miss you. <laughs> Sir thank Mark, you. you are our hero. Ang dami. They are very, very happy to see you again in our region, Sir Mark. And uh, hope po, uh, hindi po kayo magsasawa sa amin. Sa kaka-istorbo namin sa inyo kahit na bising busy po kayo ay eh, uh, lagi po kayong uh, li, uh, pre at uh, maluwag sa inyong kaloban itong aming pag-invita sa inyo. Um, Sir Mark, uh, pinaabot ng aking director at saka ni assistant director yung buong pasasalamat ng buong region. Kaya kita nyo, nagsuot na po ako ng aking uh, headset. No? Nananibago ako dahil kita ko para makita nyo kung paano namin ginagawa itong aming uh, webinar na kayo nagturo sa amin para sundin yes. lahat lahat ng inyong mga uh, mga tinuro asahan nyo po yung mga tinuro nyo sa amin ay aming uh, pananatilihin uh, ipinabalita ko rin po sa inyo kagabi po nagkaroon kami ng unang meeting with our teachers we call it uh, pakighinabi pakighinabi sa mga magtutudlo sa Rion 11 sa Tagalog pakikipag-harap, uh, no? pakikipag-usap uh, sa aming mga uh, guro sa buong region, region 11. At tuwa po sila dahil po sa inyo, naging uh, inspirasyon ka namin para makagawa ng gap. Um, kasi nakita namin yung inyong uh, uh, damdamin ay para sa guro, ang aming director, ang aming assistant director, lahat ng hepe, hepe ng uh, CLMD. At ang inyong lingkod, eh, ginagawa namin lahat para sa guro. Maraming, maraming salamat, sir. Uh, hindi namin talaga masabi, no? no, no hindi kami, ako, hindi ako makaka-shout. No? Na-shout the out. Shout in po ako. Shout in to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, alam ko, meron na, naman kaming, meron na naman kayong nilaan para sa amin sa susunod na buwan. It is a surprise yes. to all our teachers in Region 11. And uh, isa na naman po itong magiging uh, blockbuster. No? No, I hope wala na pong masisirang si uh, server. <laughs> wala naman. I hope, Sir Rick, wala na po. Kasi uh, by that time, uh, we are actually having the actual demonstration na po. So, isa set up na po natin siya. Ire-ready po natin. At i-visualize. So, currently, just to give an information to everybody, we are working with a commercial material kung paano po ang work ng isang teacher, ng isang para teacher, ng barangay. So, yun po yung uh, aming po pinagkakaabalahan ngayon and also the final conversion of the MELKS module in ADM to be uploaded in our uh, debit commons and also to our learning management system. And I'm very happy, Sir Rick, that your respective region have initiated to have your own learning management system, but don't worry, I will continue to assist your region. Ayan po. <laughs> yes, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, ito po, uh, meron akong katanungan. Ito kasi yung karamihang mga natanggap po sa mga ating mga guro. Ito po hindi related dito sa LMS. Ito po yung katanungan ng ating mga guro na dumalo doon po sa inyong nakaraang uh, webinar dito sa amin. Ang yes, kanila pong katanungan ay eh, tungkol po sa kanila mga certificate, no? Meron po silang mga, mga iba, uh, medyo nahihirapan daw po at uh, doon doon pa lang pa, pa, pa po sa pag-sign in eh hindi sila tinatanggap. Ang lagi ko lang sagot siguro kako traffic dahil sa dami, no? Mm -hmm. 
Actually, Sir Rick, nararanasan po talaga natin ng online traffic or online surge uh, sa ating pong LMS. But don't worry, ina-upscale po ito. Nagkaroon lang po tayo recently ng problem dahil yung surge ng ating participants ay umabot po ng 46,000 sa isang araw. Talagang nag-choke po siya. So maganda po ngayon ay na-augment po siya at... Uh, rest assured na once you log in, you just simply try your best, be, just be patient. At ang ating pong access ko doon sa inyong enrollment para pumasok sa uh, course ay Region 11. So capital R, small e, H-I-Y-O-N, and then capital O na para po sa 11, O-N-S-E. And then once you are there, meron po lang yung tatlong, uh, tatlong categories na kinakailangan nyo pong magawa. First is to answer the question, the 20 item questions. Not necessarily na kinakailangan maka-perfect, but you need to get 15 over 20. So once you have accomplished that, you will proceed to the next part na nagawa na po ninyo. It's just submitting your picture, yung output po ninyo, just upload it doon po sa system. Number three, you will answer a question kung ano po ang inyong natutunan doon sa activity, sa three days activity. And then after that, once you have submitted, you will you are going to receive a certificate. Aside from that, we have customized a specific Region 11 badge for that activity para po sa inyo. So, ganun wow. lang po ang, ang proseso. Uh, again po, just be patient. And ang aking pong recommendation, hindi po namin kasi sasara yung course na yun. Lagi po siya naka-open. Para po, yung ating mga teachers na gustong balikan, yung mga exercises, it's just there. Yes, thank you very much. No? Maliwanag po. Kahit po ito ay limitado sa mga guro na yung mga nagtatanong, ito po'y aming i-re-record at ipopost po namin sa webpage para yung paliwanag po ni Sir Mark C. Eh, makaralating o makaabot po doon sa mga mga teacher o mga guru natin na meron pong uh, na nararanasang uh, technical uh, issues no doon sa pagkuha uh, nila ng kanilang certification no maraming salamat po sir Mark no actually gusto ko pa hong pabayin ng oras natin dahil nandito kayo kasi marami po ako natatanggap dito talaga mga message na parang ayaw pa nilang tapusin itong ating uh, orientation. <laughs> Sinakita nila yung kanilang idol, yung kanilang pambansang webinar, ang kanilang pambansang tagapagsanay sa bagong normal ng edukasyon. Nakita nila na ang taong si Marxi ay katuwang nila sa bagong pamumuhay ng guro sa darating na pasukan. Salamat po. At yun naman po ang ating advocacy from the start na yun po pagpasok ko ng DepEd talaga ang sinabi ko as much as I can, I want to empower the Filipino teachers the way I have seen it. Kasi sabi nga natin, we are in the digital rice program at hindi mahuhuli ang mga gurong Pilipino doon. Lalong lalo na ang mga nasa pampublikong paaralan. If before, uh, we are always saying ay, we are just only public school teachers. So sinasabi, uh, public school teacher lang po ako. Eh. Gusto ko ngayon ang mangyari, we are very confident the public school teachers will face everyone na ang sasabihin ay kompleto ang kanyang skill sets na ipinovide ng ating kagawaran. Tama. Oh, alam niyo po, misa na uh, iniisip ko, kailangan pa bang magkaroon ng COVID no? para mailagay natin in place <laughs> yung talagang mga ganitong mga teknolohiya sa pagtuturo yung digital education na tinatawag natin kasi uh, lingit sa kalaman ng ating mga kaguruan, mga opisyales sa susunod na taon ay digital year na no? yung, uh, evolution 4.0 at yeah. uh, sa pagkakataon ito, ito na po yung ating paghahanda para ang ating edukasyon ay uh, nasa lagay o nasa lugar ng edukasyon ng digital no yan po yung yeah. aking sinabi nung ako po yung nandoon sa Korea Sir Mark ikaw din yung aking daladalang uh, nakikita ang <laughs> isang uh, sa pamamagitan yung nakita pa tayo sa central office no naalala niyo sir yung nagkuha po ako ng aking uh, uh, mga dokumento para makalabas nakita yes. kita kaya yung pagkakita ko sa inyo nagkaroon ako ng idea kung paano ko sasabihin kung anong kalagayan ng ating uh, bansa ngayon, nandiyan si Sir Mark, nandiyan ang ating kagawaran ng edukasyon sa nasyonal, nandito ang Region 11, nandiyan ang ating director, ang assistant director, 
lahat ng mga hepe pinamumunuan ng ating dok ni ng ating hepe sa curriculum si Dr. Janet Beloso asa na kaya si Dr. Beloso hmm? kaya uh, siguro kailangan ng pumasok ni Dr. Beloso kasi nandito si Dr. si Yon Yan, yan ang aking Hi, kapatid mo. Yes, Hello, Sir Mark. Yes, good afternoon. Namiss ko kayo, ma'am. <laughs> Oo, oh, namiss din kita, Sir Mark. O, oh, nautang tayo nito, Rick. Yes. Mm. Nag-usap so, na kami Mark, ni Sir Mark. <laughs> uh, oh, yes, abangan namin yan. At hindi Apa. ka magsasawa sa amin sa July 13 to 16. Yes, po. Yes. Yan, yan namin ang na po sa amin. Alam mo, Janet, surprise natin yan sa ating kaguruan Huwag na natin isurprise rin kayo, namemo na Namemo na Namemo na siya Ang bait-bait ng Diyos, no? Biro nyo, Sir Mark, actually kahapon nagkaroon po kami ng meeting Ay dyan si Ma'am Janet, magkatabi kami ng upuan pero may social distance kami, no? Sabi ko yung sinasabi niyo yung schedule, sabi ko, Ma'am Janet hindi ko pa ho nakukonfirm si Mark C Sabi niya, hindi, i-confirm mo na, i-confirm mo na. Kaya kagabi, halos hindi ako magkandara, ano, hindi ako mapakali. Hanggat kaninang madaling araw, ah, sabi ko, eto na si Mark C. Confirm. Actually, sir, saktong-sakto kasi, yung sinabi po yung uh, 13 to 16, yung 17 po kasi, meron po tayong nationwide day ako program na tayo rin po ang maglilid ng webinar session na yun. So sabi ko, naku, oh, sir Rick, buti nilang 13 to 16, hindi humawat kasi magkakaproblem tayo kung may 17. <laughs> Actually, sir, di ba, Dr. Beloso, it is 13 to 17? Mm. Yes, 13 to 17. Mm. But ah, okay. uh, according to sir Rick, you are only available up to 16. Yes, so, Anyway, kaya may, kaya may utang ka sa aming isang araw, Sir Mark. <laughs> oh, pwede natin, pwede natin i-18. <laughs> pwede kay Sir Mark. <laughs> joke, joke pwede. lang po. <laughs> Andito naman po ako sa central office hanggang Saturday. Alam po yun ni Sir Rick. Nandito po yes, ako. Yes, yes, so, I know that. Hindi ang schedule. Sabi ko nga po kay Sir Rick, I can always adjust. But the Sunday, it's for me. <laughs> yes, yes, I know that. Alam nyo, si ako, stalker ako ni Sir Mark. I mean, stalker, tinitignan ko kung ano yung time niya na talagang hindi siya mai ano Yung talagang free time. Kasi alam nyo, pag gising niya sa umaga, dire-diretso yan. Dire-diretso trabaho yan. Ayoko naman makaroon ng sagabal o maging, aba, maging abala doon sa kanyang mga ginagawa. Kaya pag pumasok ako dyan sa kanya, sakto, nag-uusap kami. Na, na, na pag... Uh, Yes po. Naranasan po kasi ni Sir Rick, Ma'am Janet, na nag-message siya sa akin at the middle of the day, tanghali. Tata kasi hindi ako nagre-reply. <laughs> Alam na yes, yung time frame na tinitignan ko yung mobile phone ko. <laughs> so ganoon. Okay. Kaya, kaya yung tandem namin, yung communication namin, is all, everybody is silent. <laughs> oh, yes. Because they are all sleeping, pero kami dalawa ni Sir Mark are still alive. Yes. Ah, um, so baka iniisip mo na kayo lang ang alive nun baka kami alam, din uh, di, alam <laughs> yun. Kaya, nga, kaya nga sinasabi ko kay Dr. Uh, kay Sir Mark si, Sir, si Dr. Beloso tandem ko yan dito sa Region 11 kasi alas dos ng madaling araw nagte-text yan hindi ko alam kung nananaginip no? nagte-text kakos bakit kakos ano kaya ito nananaginip kasi may text kaling alas dos imagine Akala niya, hindi ako magre-response. Nag-response din ako. <laughs> so, Ay, pareho po. tayo kaya hindi tayo. Ay, pareho po pareho tayo, tayo ng time. Yes. Kasi po si La Director Abraham, si Yusak Elaine, hindi yung magme-message siya ng ganitong oras, magme-message siya kung kailan gabing-gabi. <laughs> Nakapag-adjust na po ako na ah, ganitong oras ako mag, ano, makikipag-message. Uh, so marami nagugulat. Nag-isip ka pa rin? Yes, kasi yung in-between po, natutulog din naman po ako. Pero... Pagdating po ng 11.30, ayan, unti-unti na pong, ano, pa, ang tawag nga po sa akin ay paniki. <laughs> <laughs> Siguro po, Sir Mark, itong pagkakataon nito ay sasamantalihin namin para maipakilala ko sa inyo yung mga iba't ibang education pro program supervisor yes, namin. Yes, sir po, sige po, sige po. Okay, po sige. Ito, yung, ito ayan, po yung bumubo. Hmm. Yun po yung aking purpose, no? Purpose kaya, na, kaya ako yung nandito para... Oh, si Ma'am Ines, tumatawag. Uh, wait, live ito. Hello, Ma'am Ines. Hello. Hello, Ma'am. Yeah. Uh, hindi. Uh, uh, malapit ako. Kaya lang, yung cellphone ko, yung may internet ako dito. 
dito sa iPhone. Kaya lang hindi ako marun mag-open sa StreamYard. Ma'am, actually ma'am, live kayo. <laughs> live kayo ma'am, live kayo ngayon. <laughs> na, o, di live ko na yung audio nyo ma'am, naiintindahan ko po kasi uh, on travel kayo. Kaya nandito na si Sir Mark, naririnig po kayo ni Sir Mark. Hi Sir Mark. Yes ma'am. Hello po. Maya-maya ang konti, di ba? Opo. Magkukwentuhan muna ka. Ay, sabi ko nga kay Sir Mac, i-extend namin ito ng isang araw. <laughs> i-extend ng isang araw. Maganda. Sige po, ma'am. Mahihintayin po namin kayo. Opo. Sige po, ma'am. Okay. Opo, ma'am. Opo. Tsaka ayaw pa rin ng mga guru natin policy si Sir Mac. Sige, sige. Opo. Sige po. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, kita niyo yung ating mga direktor, no? Gustong-gusto talagang harapin yung ating mga guro. Pauwi na siya, eh nag -aala. alam niya na nandito si Sir Mark. Patapos na to, hindi naman patapos na wala na. Meron pa pong susunod. Eh talagang gusto kayong harapin kasi closing. Itong, ito pong cluster na to, ito po yung cluster na magtatapos ngayong linggo. Kaya yung, yung ating direktor, sorry sa mga ating mga guro, ay uh, umaatin po ng Mancom. Yung Mancom, yung po yung meeting ng mga key officials, nationals, secretary and uh, undersecretary para pag-usapan kung ano ang nangyayari, ano yung hinahanda, ano po yung mga ginagawa. At Ibig para ka, ano yung hinahanda. Oh. Pinulong talaga. <laughs> <laughs> oh. so, ano, na, ano nang hinahanda dyan, Sir Mark? Uh, uh, ano yung hinahanda? <laughs> <laughs> Binulong talaga TV channel po. TV channel po. O oh, oh, yan. O oh, yan. Yan yung isang tumutulong sa atin. Kaila, nagpapaimot na naman yan, Sir Mark. Gusto kunin yung TV broadcaster yan. <laughs> Teacher broadcaster. No? No? Alam nyo ba, Sir Mark, kami ni Ma'am Janet, meron, kaming sinasa meron ako sinabi kay Ma'am Janet about sa mga teacher. Natin. Ano, ikaw na magsabi, Ma'am Janet, yung aking sinabi kasi ah, uh, sa yung mga teacher broadcaster natin na para sa... Oo, oh, kasi... Okay, okay. Uh, kasi Sir Mark, ang ginawa namin sa Region 11, inihanda namin ang team namin para sa conversion po ng uh, radio scripts at saka ah. yung TV scripts. Tapos meron din kaming inihanda na mga actors and actresses na sa atin pong TV at saka sa broadcast. So, ibig sabihin, yun, yun naman sa ating e-book, meron din kaming team doon at meron din kami sa interactive lessons. So, ibig sabihin, ah. all force kami na makinig sa iyo. So, humanda ka. Maraming maraming salamat hmm. po. <laughs> Excited Tapos, na ako makita yung mga and, uh, sin Yes, sinabihan na rin namin ang field na kailangan maganda na yung mga yung magandang aura sa kanilang uh, uh, television <laughs> or sa camera dahil kayo po ang potential na mapipili natin para sa TV broadcast. Okay. Sino ba yan? Ano ba yan? Photo bomber ba yan? <laughs> Ay, ayaw ko parang kasama ba natin yan? Hindi <laughs> ko alam eh. Bigla, bigla sumisingit eh. Photo bomber yan. Oo. Nakakatuwa po talaga kasi marami rin po nagme-message sa akin ng mga teachers paano daw ang plan. Ang sabi ko po ay hintayin po natin ang i-release na information. At ito nga po yung pinag-uusapan sa Execom, yung po ay bahagi po talaga na bilang paghahanda sa ating Uh, opening of classes. So, marami po kasi nagsasabi na handa na ba talaga ang DepEd? Kung ako po ang tatanungin, in perspective, handa. Handa po. Kinakailangan lang natin continuously supportahan natin ang ating mga kaguruan para makaagapay sila at makasabay. And I'm very happy kasi nung tinitignan po namin yung aming uh, roster sa amin pong uh, mapping, eh, Number one po ngayon ang Region 11 kasi na full force yung teachers. So yun po yung amin po na i-share kay Director Abra. Sabi ko, Direk, ang ating pong number one ngayon ay Region 11 in terms of trainings. So sila po talaga ang nag-rank one kasi 40,000 plus yung dami ng teachers na nandoon. So nakakatuwa po kasi meron po tayong teachers from private schools din na nakipag-cooperate dyan po sa Region 11 na gusto. Willing na willing po talagang matuto at makasabay po sa ating tinatawag na new normal class po. Hindi pa yan. Yeah. Hindi, hindi pa po yan, uh, Sir Mark. No? Ito ay uh, katunayan. Itong, pag, itong webinar na to ng Region 11 LMS, meron pong mga nanonood sa atin sa ibang region. 
no sa samantala mm. ko na sila sila po si J Ann May Hedriana ng Region 7 ng uh, Alaska Elementary School Ma'am Jocelyn you are all welcome this is not only for Region 11 this is for all region no mayroon pa po isa no actually marami pero sila lang nakita ko ngayon may Region 2 si Edwina Brillantes si uh, sa region na uh, Sambuang uh, Sambuanga del Sur Division uh, si Luis Abibar no Depore Elementary School uh, in other words ito po hindi po lamang sa region 11 no yes. lahat kung maka-access kayo kami naman po pino-post namin dito sa aming webpage yung tinuro mo sa akin <laughs> na, so yun lang po sistema alam nyo ba Sir Mark kami handang-handa na para humarap at gamitin itong StreamYard. Apakaganda. Nung uh, dinepend ko, pinakita ko kapon sa meeting, andyan si Dr. Beloso. Hindi pa ako tapos, pinirmahan na yung aking PR. Kaya salamat, Sir Mark. Sir Mark. Salamat. Thank you din, Sir Mark. Kay, sa inyo ni Sir Pops, ni Sir Jams, yung pag-play niyo po sa akin sa StreamYard. <laughs> Grabe. Nakapag-purchase ako nang wala sa oras. <laughs> Natatawa ako kasi yung tinitrain po si Ma'am... Uh, Ma'am, ano po, ang nangyari, ito pipindutin mo, ha? Ay, ano yung pinindot? <laughs> so, ganun po yung aming mga reaction. So, nakakatuwa po. At uh, kung ganun po na-engage si yung ating mga teachers, what more ang iba po? So, yeah, yeah. Yung support. So, Miss Pailin, good thank job. You. Thank uh, you, sir. <laughs> yung iyong Excel, ha? Magpapabiso na ako in, in public talaga, no? Oh, eh, my God. approve ko siya. So, ilalagay, i-insert ko siya as one of the ICT videos sa ating pong DepEd. Wow! Ayun na siya for uploading Mabuhay next. Mabuhay ang Region 11. The first, yes. the first teacher broadcaster. No? Hindi pa man nagkakaroon ng uh, recruitment. Meron na kagad tayo isang teacher from Region 11 na pinili mismo ni Mark C. No? Wala eh. Region 11. Ang ganda kasi 11. nung kanyang ano eh, presentation sa Microsoft Excel. Siyempre, alam naman natin na ang mga bata ngayon ay hindi talaga makakapasok yes. at mahahawakan yung mga DCP equipment. So, right. malaking bagay po yung naipresent po ni Miss uh, Maylene kasi kahit sa bahay po, clear yung direction. Ayan. <laughs> Pinakita <laughs> talaga. <laughs> Actually, siner ko yan kay director nung nakita ko yung kanyang video. And then, uh, hindi ko sinabi kay Sir Mark na ito ay uh, inisyatibo nito ni si Miss Marlene. Pero nung narinig ko, sabi niya, nag-report sa akin to si Teacher Mai. Sabi niya, Teacher Ma, uh, Sir Rick, nag-text sa akin, nag-comment sa akin si Sir Mark. And ito, ha, ah, di ka ako maigi. Bale, wala. And then, ngayon, ngayon ang pinaka-importante na wala pang recruitment, meron na kagad tayong guro sa ating region na kasama na sa TV broadcast. Mabuhay ang Region 11. Mabuhay. Salamat. Isasama natin ang kanyang work doon sa ating TV, uh, sa DepEd Commons. So, maliban po doon, ongoing po ako actually. Ang dami po kasi nating mga teacher vloggers so ako. Nagsascout ako sa YouTube. Nanonood talaga ako. Hmm, magaling ba ito? <laughs> Siyempre, <laughs> kailangan natin... Kailangan natin maghanap. Nagmukha tuloy akong manager na nagsascout. <laughs> Alam nyo, bibigyan ko ng tip itong mga guru natin dito sa ating Region 11. Alam nyo kung anong ginawa nito ni Teacher Mike kasi na-interview ko to. Lahat ng webinar na ginawa ni Mark C, inatinan niya. Hmm. Kaya nung nakita niya yung mga ganong mga webinar, ginaya. At doon, wala pa itong mga TV radio broadcast, na, pero ginagawa na, wala pang announcement. So, nakagawa siya, pinost niya na wala namang siyang kamalay-malay in his curiosity to share or to present yung kanyang natutunan sa webinar ni Marxy. So, magandang material. Hindi lang material, magiging isa pa siyang teacher broadcaster na makikita sa buong bansa. ba diba, Sir Mark? Yes, at... Uh, sa atin po mga teachers, eh, huwag po kayong mahihiya. Yung, yung iba kasi sinasabi, ay hindi magandang boses ko. Tandaan ninyo, sa loob ng classroom, nagsasalita rin kayo. At hindi nyo naririnig sa bata na ang pangit ng boses ng teacher ko. So, so kung tayo po ay magdidiligo, we just simply need to be very comfortable with it. At sabi nga natin, pra- cost of practice really makes perfect. Uh, sige na, teacher Mai. Ano ka na? Kay kuha ka na lagi. <laughs> Hindi. Ang akin lang din, Sir Mark, inisip ko kasi, lalo na ngayon, uh, lalo na ngayon, panahon na ito, new normal, 
yung mga parent po kasi natin is ano po, wala silang mga DCP unit sa bahay nila. Ang accessible lang po sa kanila itong cellphone. Yes. So, I was planning na aside from Microsoft aside from Microsoft Excel na mobile po, meron pa man po tayong ibang mga mobile application offices na pwede nila magamit sa mga bata nila na ipahandle. Mm. Tama mo, magaling. Yun yung sinasabi niyang siya ay map mapamaraan, no? Yes, kailangan resourceful talaga. Yeah, resourceful. So, yung pagiging resourceful niya, at saka yung kanyang sinasabi na, na perseverance, yung patient niya. Kasi sabi niya sa akin, hanggang madaling araw daw, gumagawa siya ng materials, no? And uh, ginamit niya yung pagkakataon na during nung lockdown, yung lockdown, di ba? Nandun lang tayo sa mga bahay-bahay natin. No, napakaganda, mag, napakagandang uh, tawag nito experience na pa, para i-share natin sa kapwa guru natin dito sa Region 11. Ito po ay nagpapatunay na aming guru dito, Sir Mark, are talagang uh, uh, seryoso, seryoso para humarap sa bagong uh, normal na edukasyon na i-implement na, ng ating kagawaran. Dahil naging idol kanila, Sir Mark. Ay, salamat po. <laughs> So, Nakakatuwa po kasi yung mga kinundak po natin ng mga webinars tapos pag nagsishare po yung mga teachers ngayon ng kanilang output like yung worksheets, yung mga instructional video asa, lagi po sinasabi it's worth it yung time and passion na ating pong ibinigay kasi sila po mismo ngayon during their inset even yung ating mga school heads talagang sila mismo yung nagde-deliver so kung ano yung mga nakuha nila ay kanila pong isineshare kaya continue lang po yun Wag po kayo mag-alala, we will continuously do our best to share these things to our teachers. Yes. Yes. Uh, Sir Rick, uh, ipapakilala po niyo, Ma'am Janet, ang mga apps <laughs> po na under po sa kanyang office. So, Ma'am Janet, pwede niyo po tawagin sila. Si Ma'am si Ma Ines, na dyan ah. Okay. So, ipakilala ko sa iyo, Sir Mark, ang aming mga kasamahan sa Curriculum and Learning Management Division. Ayan, nandiyan na pala si Madam ARD. Good afternoon, Madam ARD. Hi, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hello po. Hi, Ines. Sir Mark. Good afternoon. Si nice to see you again. Yes po, nice seeing you again. Kahit po virtual. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Ah, please proceed. Uh, ano? Please proceed, Dr. Veloso. Can I? Uh, okay. Hello? Okay, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Magpapakilala ko kayo, Sir Mark, sa mga okay, kasamahan po. natin, ma'am, sa Region 11, particularly okay. sa Curriculum and Learning Management Division, ang atin pong mga uh, experts sa curriculum. So, we have our... Uh, expert in TLE at handling din ng TVL or sa senior high school, lahat ng mga truck and strands. So, ito din po ang very active natin. nag ng STVF na uh, specialized program sa ating tech book. We have Dr. Padelina Huevos. Ipakita natin si Dr. Huevos. Uh, expert in TLE at handling din ng TVL. Good afternoon po, Dr. Pedelina. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon oh, po. Day. Oh, day. Mapakilala ka naman, day. Oo. <laughs> okay. At uh, si uh, in um, si, si Pam Enday o yung si Dr. Webos sa uh, Sir Mark ay talagang siya po ang partner ni Sir Rick sa oh, monitoring po. ng ating DCP packages at sa lahat po ng ITT matters implementation sa curriculum. So kung si Sir Rick ay nasa technical, si Ma'am Inday naman ay nasa po sa ating curriculum po. Okay. Yes, so, ang pangalawa naman ating ka kasama na nasa cluster na to, si Dr. Uh, yes, si Dr. Um, Maria Lisa Beradoy. Ayan. Hello po. Ma'am Berandoy? Ayan. <laughs> siya po ang expert natin sa science. So mm -hmm. siya po ang ating uh, makakasama mo, Sir Mark, 
dahil uh, tatawid na tayo sa robotics, dahil yun po ang aming target. Magpapatulong yes, kami sa iyo sa robotics at lahat ng AI initiative. O, Liz, ako na lang, ako na lang magsasalita kay Ma'am Lisa. No? Uh, maraming salamat. Maraming salamat sa inyo, mga salamat sa inyo. Ako po ang representante ni Dr. Lisa Berandoy. Ayan, ayan. Oo, oh, hindi nakikinig. Okay. Sa ang atin namang kasamahan, uh, sa aral pan, si Dr. Danny Duhinog. Nandyan ba? Si Dr. Duhinog? Nandyan ba siya? Parang wala. Wala ang po, wala. Namang, okay, ang kasamahan naman natin sa uh, Filipino, si Dr. Mary Jane Mirada. Mary Jane? Nandyan ba si Mary Jane? Parang wala. Ang ating kasamahan naman sa so, naghandle ng mother tongue, si Dr. Mm -hmm. George Wong. Hmm, wala siya ngayon. Ang sa English, si Dr. Manuel Vallejo. Nako, wala pa rin. Ang ating kasamahan na naghandle ng ating mathematics, si Dr. Renato Pakpakin. Mm -hmm. Si Rene. Ako parang hindi sila ngayon ano active. Okay lang po. Okay, at uh, meron naman tayong kasamaan kanina si Miss Shelo Estrada sa ESP. Shelo, nandito si Shelo. Ay, parang wala sila pero anyway Sir Mark, lahat po ito ay dumaan naman sa pangunguna ni Sir Rick, Eric na team sa ICTU. At uh, ito po sila ay ginawa namin cluster dahil gusto namin na mas maintindihan nila sa kanilang level kung ano yung mga gagawin ng kanilang respective experts. Yes. So, para buuhin na namin ang learning management system. Thank you po. At yung inyo pong request regarding sa robotics, huwag po kayo mag-alala. Handang-handa po ang team na kayo po ay gabayan tungkol sa robotics and artificial intelligence. At Uwin lang po natin pag natapos natin si LMS, ayan, everything will follow. Ang gagawin lang po kasi natin doon, kinakailangan ay mabangga natin ang kanyang skills sa physics kasi doon po siya naka-align. So yes. kapag nagawa po natin yun, tuloy-tuloy po siya. And then sa math po, kailangan tignan po natin yung specific skill kasi ang robotics po ay uh, sumasaklaw sa tinatawag natin na STEAM. So we have... Uh, science and Technology, Engineering, Arts and Mathematics. So nakakagulat kasi meron siyang arts. Patoo po yun. Dahil, uh, uh, ma-share ko lang po, uh, ang konsepto na ginagamit ko po ngayon regarding sa STEAM or sa robotics ay mula po sa aking kapatid kasi na nagtatrabaho sa States. So siya po kasi currently ay isa pong uh, school head. Dun po, and especially, ang focus niya po kasi ay math. At uh, ang maganda po doon, siya po ay naging champion national scale in terms of robotics and in math. Kaya syempre nakikibalita ako sa kanya at hindi ko naman po kopihin but I will put our own flavor as Filipinos and then collaborating with uh, other friends like in Singapore dahil meron po ako mga kaibigan na nagtatrabaho sa Ministry of Education at sinishare naman talaga nila sa akin yung kanilang mga platforms or program at ako hinihimay ko siya. I am getting what is actually best uh, from their country, kung ano po ang kanilang tinuturo. And then we will utilize what's best. Kaya yung version po natin lagi ay, niloloko nga po si Director Abram, yung OER natin, chap-chap yan ang mga ginagawa ng ibang bansa. Kinuha ko lang yung magaganda. At yung mga experience nilang hindi okay, eh, iwan na natin sa kanila yon. Kaya so far, we are doing good in the process at maraming maraming salamat po sa patuloy na pag-supporta. Yes, Opo. kami so, susuporta. namin. Opo. Kami that, po susuporta. Yes, that would be towards the fourth quarter, yung aming yes, uh, robotics. At, uh, kasi gusto namin na maging aligned kami at champion kami sa mga robotics sa uh, initiative. Sure so, po. I, Opo. Uh, I have a lot of friends who are actually uh, robotics champion. So sabi ko nga, ay, kasi et, eto po yung style eh. Yung mga kaibigan ko, okay, kasi uh, yun ang subject na tinuturo nila. Nakikipag-compete sila. Ako naman, ay gusto ko mag-compete kaso ang subject ko Filipino. <laughs> hindi, hindi pwede. So ang nagagawa ko na mag-train lang ako na mag-train. O kaya yung, yung, yung studyante na iti-train namin. So ano lang ako, lagi lang akong back up. So ngayon nakakatuwa kasi I can now lead 
lead a pack or lead a group for it. Uh, kaya, imagine, Filipino teacher po ako, pero marunong po ako noon. So, tiyaga-tiyaga lang po talaga. At gagawin po natin, I will help uh, Region 11 kung paano po bubuo ng sarili ninyong module for it, kung gusto po ninyo. Kasi wala oh. po tayong nakikita ang robotics module sa DepEd. <laughs> Parang nakikita ko po kasi oh. ay publish books. So, Ayos. I we, we could help you with that. So, we have a lot of friends from the industry na pwede po natin pagsama-samahin at huwag kayong magalala. Hindi nyo kailangan bayaran. Lahat yun ay isang malaking niti. Pagkain lang katapat. <laughs> Sir, sinulat ko na yan, ha? Nakasulat na po sa aking yeah. record. Nasa na, pipeline na. Na, 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 na radio na, namin. Mark. Magsisimula yung robotic modules, no? So, yes, lahat. Yes, actually, 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 Ma'am Biloso, Si Sir Mark, may utang pa sa atin yan. <laughs> Ay, ganun? Oo. Mayroon Alam niyo ba? Kaya ako naalala yung utang mo, Sir Mark. Akala mo talagang totoo. Eh, no? <laughs> uh, marami, marami kayo, kasi itong iba pong mga participants natin dito sa ating uh, regional LMS ay galing sa mga OER train. Train ni mm. Sir Mark. Mm. So, hinalo-halo ko yan. Yung MEAS, yung OER, plus yung mga umatin ng model doon sa ginawang webinar ni Sir Mark. Ngayon, nabanggit niya yung OER. Di, sabi ko, may nautang, no? may utang si Sir Mark sa amin. <laughs> yung kanyang, dapat kasi naka-schedule tayo ng March sa, sa advanced uh, uh, OER. Inabutan tayo ng lockdown ni COVID. Lockdown. Mm -hmm. O baka sa fourth quarter. Rick, diba, baka no? sa fourth quarter, isabay Lang natin ulit para, para, para hindi siya mahirapan. Para. Alam mo, ba, ma and OER. Oh. Alam mo ba, ma'am, 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 ano, ma'am Janet, sa sobrang, uh -oh. uh, ewan ko, bait sa atin ni Sir Mark, pinagitan niya, more, ano, mga 1.6 million niya tayo, no? Totoo yun. <laughs> Di ba, sir? Sasabihin ko na kasi, tapos naman na hindi natuloy. Ay, totoo ako? Ayan. Actually, Ay, totoo yung, yun. nahihiya po ako, sa ko, Rick, okay lang po ma mag-train ako. Kasi, <laughs> Ayaw tanggapin ng ibang region. So sabi ko, baka ikaw tanggapin mo. Tinanggap, sabi ko, ay, natawa talaga ako. Kasi uh, from that part po kasi, hindi pa napipicture out kung ano si OER. So oh, that time, ako talaga, sino kayang pwedeng region ng lapit? Pwede ko lapit. Natanggihan talaga ako. Sabi ko, ay, lalungkot ako. Natanggihan ako. Tapos sabi ko, sayang naman yung pera kung hindi magagamit. And I'm very happy that Sir Rick actually accepted it. Sabi ko, ay, thank you. Tapos yun po. Nung nakapag-train po kami, na, nakakatawa kasi very appreciative ang mga teachers, Sir Rick, na yeah. na, yun, na talagang yung number po namin naging nadagdagan. Oh, kasi sabi, oh, ko, sabi ko, oh, Sir, Rick, oh. Sir Rick, hindi pa tayo magkakaproblema kung magdagdag tayo ng namin. Hindi, ako na bahala dyan. O sige. <laughs> Kaya okay Alam naman. Alam ko, diniskarte ako maigi yun, no? Alam ko, kulang ang ating mga room accommodation. Nakiusap ako. Umabot tayo ng mga 300. Ang dapat lang is parang mga 180 yata, parang ganun Sir Mark. So ang ginawa ko, pinagpatong-patong, di pinagpatong-patong. Yung room, ginawa ko instead of 4, ginawa ko 6. Tapos yung kami yung mga technical na nandito, hindi na kami nag, nag kumuha ng rooms, pinapasok namin silang lahat. So masaya-masaya pagkatapos ng, nandun ka pa Ma'am Janet, eh, naalala mo noon? Yes, humabol kami sa training na yun at saka ang ating regional director. Yes. At punong-puno po oh, ang ating oh, uh, ano, oh, call. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. So, Rick, Rape. memorable yun kasi yung damit ko na suot-suot, yun din yun, yung damit ko galing US. <laughs> <laughs> yun yung damit ko US, yun yung damit ko na pumunta ako ng Mountain Province at yun din yung damit ko papunta ng Davao. Sunod-sunod yun. Sunod, oh. Nililoko ko ngayon, ano, actually sarili sabi ko, ay, ilang araw na ako natutulog na nakaupo. So, I think uh, Ma'am Ines will have now her message po. Okay, uh, Ma'am Ines, may I call now our Assistant Regional Director? Hi everyone! Hello Sir Mark! Hello Ma'am Ines, good afternoon Hi. po. Hi! Yes, uh, actually natutuwa akong ano nakikinig sa mga ano sa mga kwentuhan niyo at saka sa mga uh, high hopes that you committed to Davao region. Uh, I, I actually wanted to listen more because uh, I am delighted with you with your presence. But anyway, uh, I am called to 
uh, convey the message of our regional director. Okay, so in behalf, good afternoon, and in behalf of our regional director, Dr. Evelyn Pitalvero, uh, we would like to specially thank uh, Sir Mark C., our best friend, our favorite, uh, favorite speaker. I am so happy with your offer, Sir Mark, and we are so lucky in our region to, to be the best choice of Sir Mark C. Sir Mark, we would like to inform you that uh, we have improved in our framework in delivering our training. I am so happy to uh, inform the group and, uh, of course, thankful to Dr. Veloso for acceding to our request and that uh, Mr. Uh, Ms. Veloso was so, uh, I mean, uh, very open to make the overarching principle that uh, every child must be safe anytime, anywhere. So that is an overarching principle of our training. I hope that you would be able to be with us in this advocacy as well, because as we train our teachers who will handle our children, we should be able to uh, enter to the core, like uh, it is the child's well-being. So as we capacitate their brain, we would also, uh, everything must sink deep in their hearts and that uh, everything will go in vain if they're not protected. Okay, so mm -hmm. I hope that uh, all these things will be embedded. And uh, we're so happy that Dr. Uh, Dr. Evelyn Fitalvero also supported us in that. And that is uh, the number one priority of Davao region as it is also the advocacy of the local government unit, especially our beloved mayor in Daisara. Uh, we are partners in this. So to our regional chiefs and supervisors, Dr. Veloso, I know that you are you had been very busy with your supervisors in dealing with all the contents. And I'm so happy hearing all the conversations here this afternoon that uh, Sir Mark C would help us even in the robotics and all the things that we need. So we're delighted to have him. To our regional ICTU headed by Mr. Rick with your group, Mr. Edong, Lujin, Josh, Joshua, and Cholo. Uh, thank you so much for your hard work. So I hope that all these things uh, will really be bear fruit uh, with all the things that we are preparing for the upcoming content area training. I hope that everyone is well because we'll be having a very busy schedule starting July 6 and even before that. So again, I'm so happy to have all the teachers, the ambassadors uh, in this uh, webinar on the utilization of the LMS. Considering that we are all in the different situations, I hope that we'll be able to pass all these trials and that, we'll, and that we'll be able to establish the trust and confidence of the public that we can do this. And we would be able to establish the confidence of our teachers that we're just here to support them, that they should not fear because everything will come to pass and we will bounce back more, stronger and more powerful. So thank you so much also to the ambassadors who are here to support us. We are looking forward for a very successful content area training with the help of Sir Mark C. So in behalf of our regional director, thank you so much. Uh, looking forward for a very successful new normal teaching and learning processes. Good afternoon once again. Thank you for... So, thank you, Sir Mark. Nagwalisin sila. Ma'am Janet, okay. Okay, thank you Ma'am Ines. Maraming salamat po. Dahil po sa support ang ginagawa po ninyo, itong mga programang aming uh, pinag-ugnay-ugnay ng uh, na curriculum, ng learning materials revision ay nagkakaroon po nung sa katuparan sa support po ng ating uh, pangunahing uh, panauhin na si Sir Mark. At of course, 
Kami po ay uh, nagpapasalamat sa lahat ng guro, hindi lamang po sa participants dito sa isang sa ating uh, orientation na to, but sa buong guro ng ating riyon, no? Ang ating riyon na 11, na sabi nila 11, pero ang ibig sabihin mo ng 11, lagi tayong number 1, no? 1 1. Kaya hindi po 11 na nandoon po sa kalabing isa, but tayo po ay laging number 1. Okay. Thank you. Thank you rin po. So, uh, parang ayaw pa natin tapusin yung ating webinar, no? Kasi na si Sir Mark. <laughs> marami. Oh, but, uh, Ma may... Marami. May mga nanonood, no? Mga tiga Cebu oh, City. Oo, baka may tanong, Rick. Ang lucky oh. three na magtatanong. Ayan, yes, sir. Oh. Si, si Dr. Manuel Dr. Valleo sa English naman yan. Hello, Hello Sir Manny. Hey, sir. Ayan. Yan ang pinagawa po sa kurikulum. Tama ba? Ang kamahalan. Okay. At saka si Dr. Webos. O baka may tanong sila, o Manny, may tanong ka ba sa ating guest? Ayan. Well, with my much excitement with our coming RBI, si Sir Mark at ang mga handle, no? Radio Broadcasting Instruction. O siya ang nagdadala sa ating Radio Broadcast, Sir Mark. Wow, wow, wow. Ayan. So, so mag-i-figure caster and those casters na ang mga teachers. Yes, okay. okay, no? So, bago po tayo magtapos, binabati ko po yung mga nanood sa atin at taga ibang region, Region 8, no? Si Mark Lester Escalera, taga Cebu, si Risa May Cañete, at uh, marami pa pong iba na taga ibang region. Meron pa pong... Uh, Uh, taga region 6 no? ayaw magpapangkit baka daw pagalitan ako ng aking regional ITO no no kaibigan ko regional ITO <laughs> okay so maraming maraming salamat po sa lahat kahit na ayaw pa namin tapusin itong ating pagsasanay nito ngayong araw na to ito po ay lahat ng simla may katapusan pero babalik po ang aming team kasama ang team ng 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 CLMD at kami po ay magbibigay ulit ng pagsasanay sa uh, suporta na sa atin ni Mark C. Ma'am Janet? Yes, opo. Uh, mas uh, excited kami Sir Mark sa darating po namin na mga training na to be handled by you and your team and that we are not only uh, parang have, have that uh, feeling of uh, uh, being special as you have treated us, but the feeling that we are given the opportunity to work to a kind of wizard in the new normal. Kasi ikaw yun, Sir Mark, na sasabihin namin wizard in terms of the teaching and learning in the new normal. So parang talagang tinadhana ni Lord na nakarating ka sa bakod ni DepEd. Yes, It was just fitting and timely. A blessing. Oh, maganda talaga ang blessing ni Lord sa DepEd. Yes. And it's over lang po ako ni Yusek Alin. Yes. Oo. Oh. <laughs> Tinanong niya, sino kaya yung gumagawa niya sa Lasal? Parang gano'n. But anyway, <laughs> just to cut the story short, uh, hindi po ako nagdalawang isip when I joined DepEd. At nung nakita ko po at umiikot ako sa buong bansa, kasi pinaaten po ako ng training, nakita ko po talaga yung needs at sabi ko, it's really high time if I need to step up and share what I have learned from the past years nung ako ay nagtuturo at naging administrador po, uh, hindi ko po yun uh, ipagdadamot at akin pong ibabahagi. And I'm very happy that Region 11 have accepted all of this at yes. sa tulong po ni Sir Rick na yun po eh, nagulat ako, hindi niya ako tinanggihan. Sabi ko, Sir Rick, baka pwede ako mag-train. Well, wala siyang ano, dalawang salita sabi niya, sige, gagawang ko yan ang paraan. At ay, natuloy po talaga. And with that, I continuously commend and appreciate po talaga yung nagagawa po ninyo, Sir Rick. Ayan. Yes, At, sir, yes, sir. Ka, Always. Lahat ng ginagawa natin, it's not for ourselves, it's really for our learners. Kasi kapag gumaling ang ating mga guro, gagaling din ang ating mga mag-aaral. Tama. Yeah. Yun ang tama. No? So, sa, sa, sa pamamagitan po niyan, 
Uling pananalita po, uh, Mr. Marksy. <laughs> uh, sa ating po mga manonood. Sir Mark, Sir Mark, Hello Sir po. Mark, bagong lahat, bago ka maghuling salita. <laughs> Sir Mark. <laughs> Sir Mark, uh, willing po kaming i-accept lahat ng programs ni Mong ipapilot oh. or whatever Ay, ganun, programs and projects that you have. Yeah. Kung oh. ayaw tanggapin ng ibang region, kami po kumakain ng program at project. <laughs> at tandaan ko po yun. Kasi nahirap ako talaga. Ako sabi ko talaga, Dere, parang ayaw nila yung program na naiisip ko. Ayaw nila tanggapin. No idea po kasi talaga sila kung ano po yun. Kaya hirap na hirap po akong ibenta. So parang meron akong produktong hindi siya mabenta. Pero ngayon, nakita nila yung ganda ng programa. Nahihirapan naman po ako kasi ano unahin ko? <laughs> yung ganun po. And Siyempre, doon po tayo sa sino ang unang sumuporta. That's why yes. I am continuously doing it. Yun. Nabuhay Thank Region you. 11. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. Bakikinig ako. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Sa ating pong, uh, mga teachers dyan, gaya ng aking naipangako, the Educational Technology Unit doesn't have only one strand, which is OER. Kabilang po dito ang tinatawag natin na Robotics and Artificial Intelligence. 3D printing, and the forward technologies. At ang tinatawag po natin, drone in education. So lahat po ng ito ay kabahagi sa aking skills na nakahanda po akong ibigay po sa inyo. So ngayon po ay nakafocus tayo sa EdTech alone. But after that, guy ng nasabi po ni uh, Dr. Veloso, rest assured that this coming fourth quarter, kung sakali pong yun ay gusto nyo pong ipasok, Nandito po ako na handang mag-train at tumulong po sa inyo. At tandaan, hindi mahirap yun dahil tingnan nyo, grade 1, Filipino teacher ako at kaya ko siyang uh, pagdaanan at gawin. It's just having the patience. At sa ating po mga administrador, maraming maraming salamat sa inyong pagtitiwala at patuloy na pagsuporta sa mga plano ng ating kagawaran dahil kahit na gaano kaganda ang plano, ngunit wala itong suporta ay hindi po siya magpupush through. So to our uh, local government units na nanonood, maraming maraming salamat sa patuloy na pagsuporta. Hindi po ito magagawa ng DepEd along because it's really a collaborative effort. At sa mga manonood na mga magulang at mga mag-aaral, tanggalin natin ang ating takot na kaya ba ng DepEd na ibigay ang edukasyon to continue education? May answer to that, yes, they can do it. Our teachers are great. Our Filipino teachers are very good. You need to trust them. To our parents na hindi pa nagpapa-enroll, hindi pa ine-enroll lang kanilang mga anak, ipa-enroll nyo po dahil sayang ang panahon. At bukod sa sayang ang panahon, safe na safe po ang inyong mga anak dahil ating pong sisiguruhin na ligtas po sila kahit tayo po ay may pandemyang nararanasan. That yes. Our government is doing its best. Let's trust each other. God bless us all. Thank you very much po. Siguro sa tanang buhay ko dito sa DepEd, ito na yung pinakamahabang closing. No? So inabot tayo na <laughs> isang oras na may get. So maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Tayo yung magtatapos na. Five, four, three, two, one. Thank you. Okay, Thank you. sir, mind. <laughs>